hi to Chaco. So this is Chimico's, uh, Chimico's group is group B. Oh yeah, we didn't know anyone in Chimico's group. Besides Jupiter. I mean, in GYC maybe a, bit, a little bit. So, uh, who could this be? Maybe it says something in his profile. Let's check his profile. GYC? Sixty-six percent win rate to rank uh, over one thousand. So over one thousand. Yeah, over one thousand. This fan. <laughs> this says that when I translate this, it says this family is GYC. Job done. And this person says, Wang Dong, Queen Yuan. I think there's a name because it didn't translate. But uh, apparently, it could be GYC. Uh, okay, let me tweet. Tweeter. Alive once more with more. ECS Winter Qualifiers Asian I come to cleanse this land. I come to cleanse this land. Um of forty eight. Okay, so, um, I need to tell us any more, anything else? One's all people and corn is yellow, is fellow? And corn is fellow. This, this Chinese uh, in the translator doesn't make any sense to me. Is Guangdong a different player? Maybe, maybe he was saying, "Oh, it's not, it's not GYC, it's it's Guangdong." But who would Guangdong be? Let's see, Group B. It has, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I wish I had, I wish I had a friend or something, someone in the Warcraft Three scene that spoke fluent Chinese and it could help me figure out who those, who these players were. Um, okay, for the yellow uh, yellow player, yellow human, we have a level 5 Archmage and a level 3 Mountain King. A Mountain King has plus 12 strength and a Ring of Protection. He's pretty sturdy, he also has a boost of speed and a potion of invulnerability. So everything about him means, uh, yeah, he's not going to die. The Archmage has a potion of greater mana instead of on the Mountain King. Interesting. And uh, besides that, not much. Here is Chimiko. Chimiko in the brown, also a level 5 Archmage with just as little items, just a DP scroll. The Mountain also level 3, also some nice items to keep him alive. Not as good as the ones for uh, the yellow yellow human, but uh, Chimiko has expansion as you can see over there. While uh, the yellow human does not. So we have a fight here, Storm on the face on the Mountain King. And uh, well, the Mountain King, as I was saying, is not going to die. Actually, this Mountain King has. Like 200 hit points less, or 150 to be, uh, no, 250. 250 hit points less. So the Stormbolt does a lot more damage uh, percentage wise. A uh, one peasant militia guy going down. We have one more upgrade here for Chamiko. We have uh, z one zero, but uh, Chamiko's uh, Mount King has to use the Info Potion. And, well, the yellow human also used the Info Potion just to uh, make sure he could kill the Mount King, I think. Uh, he kills the Mount King for, off Chamiko after the Info Potion uh, is over, but. Yellow's human's army is so small, so small. Even without the, the Mountain King, I wonder if uh, Chamiko can defend here. Chamiko's 14 supply ahead, and uh, well, the Chamiko, uh, the the Mountain King, though, won't be back for a while. The uh, Mountain King kills that priest, and now it's going for the Archmage. Archmage doesn't have anything to save. Him. Well, he has a TP, but uh, oh, but the sur surround here on this Archmage, he has to stop out. 
And he does go down, and Chamika is now level 6 Archmage, gets Stormbolted in the face, but there's not enough here for the yellow human to kill that Archmage of Chamiko. So, uh, Chamiko kills off some more units. Uh, by the way, I'm not sure if it's 0-0 zero, zero or if it's 1-0 uh, or what. Okay. Um, there's a full list when GCS Asian qualifiers are played on World of 3 info now. Well, the full list of players? Let me, uh, or what do you mean? Full list. What do you mean? I mean in calendar? Oh, in the... Yeah, it's, uh, it's around the 48. So, of these 48 players, we have... Uh, the 48 players are divided in six groups. Uh, of all the groups, only one player will qualify and will go to the next round. The next round will be... Uh, so, the next round will be six players plus the 10 players that already... Uh, that went to certain play... Probably went to GCS last... Last summer. I mean, last week. I think that makes sense, right? So we had 16 players in GCS, four of them were European. If you remove those, we have 12 players left. Uh, two of them are Infi and 120, which are already qualified for the next GCS. And uh, after that, we just have 10 players left. Those 10 players are already qualified for the next round, the round of 16. Uh, on top of those 10, we're trying to find six more players to, uh, you know, to make it 16. So that's what we're watching today. From 48 players to six players. Oh, happy play, Kappa. Kappa. We have a nice human mirror, they're both creeping. The Archmage here, Rune Bracers. I'm not sure if you keep that in this matchup. If you, maybe you keep it against the Mountain King. On your Mountain King, of course. It's the last, last game, Chamiko almost lost, or almost, almost lost. Because he lost his uh, Mountain King. So Rune Bracers, of course, helps a lot against the Stormbolt. On the other hand, we have uh, Scourge Bone Chimes. That's good early game. Late game, not that great. Claws of Attack. Two circlets. I'm not really too sure how they compare. It's probably not that much of a difference. Uh, keep here. Oh, we have a fast attack for Chai Miko. Then uh, uh, GYC. Well, sad play. Can't follow the rules. Really go if it qualifies. I know, uh, so Happy is apparently banned from uh, GCS, right? But I wonder if he's also banned from the qualifiers. So there's no reason to play the qualifiers. Hunting down this footman. Why is he banned? Happy was banned because he... I don't know exactly, but he didn't show up last GCS. Uh, it, it's not like he didn't show up. He cancelled like a few weeks in advance. We have a fight here, by the way. So footman die. And uh, and I think maybe another reason why they decided to ban, his, ban him is because he was uh, saying he was going. He was get, receiving donations for like his flight and all that nice stuff. And then he didn't go in the end. Anyway. We have uh, the Berserker here and the uh, Forest Soul Shadow Priest, very low on health. Uh, while for Ch Chamiko, everything is still on, in nice health. Did Chamiko, did, uh, did he like creep? How do you say it? Creep jack him or something? Or what? Did I miss something? I wasn't paying attention. We have uh, Boots of Speed here on the pink Archmage, the Archmage for GYC. He's going for the farm. You will see he's now attacking. He's only a little bit behind. Not that far behind. But a little bit behind. But his Forest Soul is going to die. Look at the Archmage. The Archmage summons a water elemental. Goes for the Forest Soul Shadow Priest. That one dies. Goes for the Forest Soul Berserker. Maybe he can cut off the units here with some uh, Militia. Because these units are all pretty hurt. Especially the Forest Soul Shadow Priest. Uh, I mean Forest Soul Berserker. Uh, he's now re re taking revenge. Going for the Forest Soul Berserker of Chamiko. The Forest Soul Berserker does die. 
This first solo berserker survives. Nice there by DYC. Have some Archmage and Archmage action. Thirty-six supply now for uh, GYC. Thirty-one only for Jamiko. That's interesting. Why does he have five more supply? Why? If he stops home, did he? Is it because he just bought more units? No, that's not it. Yes, he killed more units. No, Chamiko has more gold. That's probably why. But with Chamiko seven supply behind. Yes, uh. Chamiko did worse in the early game somewhere. Even though it looked like he was doing just great, just fine. Especially the Berserker. Not killing the Berserker there of GYC and losing his own Berserker. That was absolutely horrible there for Chamiko. He gets another uh, Greater Healing Potion. His Mountain King is never going to die with their Wound Razors and the Greater Healing Potion. We see GYC is just going for the Red Creep Camp here. Just four Footmen and two Berserkers. Two uh, Trolls, I mean. One is a Berserker, one is a Shadow Priest. This Ogre, level 7. And the Water Elementals, thank a lot. This Footman taking a lot of damage as well. This Footman, this Footman dies to the Shockwave. Shockwave was so beautiful. It like, he, he aimed it to the left, but it somehow hit all these Footmen over here. Don't know how he did that. Crystal Ball, what a shitty item. I wonder if he continues creeping after killing the Ogre. He loses another Footman to the Crips. I don't know if this is his strategy. Just lose all your footmen to the creeps, you don't need them anymore anyway. Maybe that's his strategy. Uses a crystal ball somewhere. Here it is. That beautiful, that's beautiful. Picks up a ton of intelligence. Meanwhile, Archimedes uh, goes the creeps over here. Both Archimedes are uh, pretty close to level 5. The Mountain Kings are both pretty much just level 1. There's level 5. Defend. We have defend here for uh, Chai Miko. He doesn't lose his footman to creeps. He's still not level 5 here. He just needs 15 more XP. 15 more XP. More priests here for uh, GYC. More priests here for Chamiko. GYC just going for the other red item as well. Crystal ball. Got the crystal ball, but he he didn't like it, so like okay, maybe I'll get a better item here. I'm not sure where he revealed here, but he's gonna be creep jacked. But I think he can kill the level seven ogre first, and then maybe TP out. Here's the water elemental creep jack. The first soul is just standing there, taking all the hits. There's a level 5 Archmage. He gets Warzone Battle Drums, and that's a much better item than that stupid Crystal Ball. Did he lose anything? I don't think so. He's pink, by the way, just like God, God is a Girl, the, the pink human player of yesterday. Nice Archmage Scout. Archmage is uh, trying to hunt down the force of Shadow Priest, doesn't quite get it. And Chamiko, of course, has given the Root Brazers to the Mount King. Yes! And a great healing potion as well, and a potion of Mana Stone. That's some nice items on this Mount King. Much better than the items here on this Mount King. But Archmage just walked past with an info potion to buy a Zeppelin. Interesting. Forcing battle drums, though. Very good item. Wait. The Archmage even stole the Ankh. I missed that. <laughs> he stole the Ankh with an info potion. And then bought a Zeppelin to get out of there. Besides the Warzone battle drums, these items are so much better here for Chamiko. I wonder if it's, it's gonna matter, or if it's. Uh, I wonder if. The Warzone Battle Drums makes up for enough here. Makes up for a lot though. Warzone Battle Drums doesn't make up for a Rune Bracer, Potion of Greater Healing, a Mana Stone, Ankh. Doesn't make up for everything. I'm not sure. 
does have claws over there, plus six, but that's about it. Uh, okay, we see another creep deck here. The turtle is still uh, alive. Uh, there goes the first soul berserker. The mount king is being microed with the zeppelin. The zeppelin, though, is very low on hit points. Zeppelin goes down, and the mount king is dizzy. Mount king is dizzy for Chamiko. Throws the storm bolt in his dizziness and still manages to aim and kill the mount king. That's maybe a, a bug? You know? Like. Mountain King that is dizzy shouldn't be able to hit the storm bolts, especially not if it's like uh, so far away from his target. Uh, he puts an Ankh on the floor. The Mountain King will come back with the Ankh. Already used to great healing potions. The Chamiko now 25 supply up. Killing him much more than he's losing. The Mountain King is back. He needs the mana. He still has a mana stone. Archmage saying hello to the under Archmage. It's uh, yeah, GG, right? GG? Oh, there it goes a nice stuff, but he gets the he gets Stormbolt. The GG Chamiko is two two zero. Okay, here we have this matchup. I don't know the score. Uh, the Tinker just died. Tinker went down with the TC very long hit points as well. Blade Master and the, the Raiders. Well, the raiders, look at how low the raiders are. And once all these raiders are going to die, the dudes of the Talon will never die again themselves. Around here on the plate match. This doesn't look good for Q to see here. Sure, he has uh, Scourge Bone Chimes. But his blade master is never going to survive this. Oh, nice healing scroll. Actually, I'll take back everything. Two healing scrolls. We might still have a chance here for QTC. One Spirit Walker went down. Blade Master uses an info potion. Goes for the Demon Hunter. Can he kill the Demon Hunter? If he can kill the Demon Hunter, it would be so nice. He kills the Demon Hunter. And uh, that was just beautiful. Sure, QTC lost a lot of units. But now he can kill units. This Druid of the Talon is just fighting without heroes. And apparently they're winning. Even though no heroes. The TC is level 5 now. And almost has mana for another Shockwave. Just as uh, I thought this game was over and Knight of had won, it does look like Orc is now going to win. Look at the show where look, 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 Beautiful. Doing so many damage against these Druids of the Talon. This, uh, it's just beautiful. Beautiful. I heard Tappy will write a complaint to his band from GCS and demand compensation for just disturbing his public reputation. Kappa? Is that a Kappa comment? But since only the winner of a group advances, Tamiko, worst case, has to win all seven games to do so. The second also is 6 0 before they face each other. I don't. I don't think it's around Robin, though. I don't know exactly. I don't know how it works. I don't know how these groups work. But I believe it's not around Ro uh, Robin. Just hear the rumors. Why they drop items when they heal? So they heal for more. The thing is... Um, wait, where's the Beastmaster? Oh, actually. Did you see this game? Because they don't have any items. Oh, actually I should... Uh, TC level 5 coming back. Nice shockwave. Killing two dudes of the Titan. I'm not sure if it hit this one or if it was already hurt. Kills one Moonwell. Beastmaster is going. He's healing. Is he going down? Use the healing scroll. Just in time. He has to buy some more items, but I think the healing potion is still cool down. He, he buys the dark moon thing. Uh, Demon Hunter, when are you. Be oh, he killed the altar, not the Moonwell. I see. So we have seen here. I don't know which group he is playing or what his name is in the. In the group. Oh, he's group D. Actually, we do know. Senior's group D. Okay, and his opponent. Um, something. Demon Hunter. Something. I, stand ready. I mean, we know he's not the last guy. We know he's probably not Manko. Is he... Uh... But Sini is playing as... Orc. No, not Mango, not. It might be a Piao. 
He might be one of the two Chinese guys. Yeah, well, they're all Chinese guys, but I mean, with Chinese names, we cannot read. Uh, Sini here with Kigami going for the Archer. By the way, this group is, could be exciting with uh, Sini and Fast in the same group and Enchant. Demon Hunter hunting down this, uh, this uh, not footman, this front. Well, the Blade Master didn't kill an archer, he killed one archer, but we have three archers. A lot of archers for this Night Elf player. Five archers, I'm not sure if that's a bit overkill. We see a life a lot with three archers, which works a lot, uh, which works very nicely, very effectively. But five archers, that might be overkill. Shadow Stalker hunting down Kigami. Let's see if... Uh, oh, the grunt hunting down a wisp. There's another mana burn. 21, I don't like it too much. Unless he's full mana. And he wasn't really. Kills the wisp. Close position. DC, Spirit Wall Lodge. Lodge. And four archers against the grunt. The grunt is retreating immediately. He cannot win that fight. Where's the fifth archer? I believe he had five. Oh no, he lost one, of course. But he can creep very fast with four archers. With the Beastmaster, maybe even. By the way, maybe the Chinese know who this player is. And the, tra the translator doesn't tell me much. I think the guy was asking if it was uh, round robin. He's creeping this, that's so risky. There's a blade master. Did a blade master was a bit too late though. And uh, he's of course being revealed. Level one blade master kills an archer. Three archers are still alive. One of them. Let's go kill there. Blade master has to be careful now. Because of this, uh, this ward. Can be seen there's a TC. Bang of regeneration, not that bad here on the Demon Hunter. See being focused, but the archers and the naga now not in a good position. It's hard to retreat. They have to walk through the orc units, and the naga gets surrounded. And what was he trying to do there? Couldn't really give her any uh, items. Archers trying to retreat. A player's forces are under attack. But it wasn't that bad, of course, for uh, the night elf. Getting this ward. Getting this item, the Ring of Regeneration, it's worth a lot. Maybe not losing a Naga and an Archer. That's uh, almost as much. Here's the Ancient of War. What is this Knight of doing, man? He's playing so aggressive, so... Creeping so aggressive. Now he's just going to the base with just a Demon Hunter, two Archers and an Ancient of War. And I'm not sure what he can do here. Because the Blade Master, three grunts, Spirit Link, the TC, there's a surround on Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is going to die because he doesn't have TP. Oh wow, what a what a shitty surrounder by Sini. Let's the Demon Hunter go. You're free to go, Mr. Demon Hunter. However, the ensnare, there's no ensnare. There might be ensnare soon. He uses his speed scroll. The ensnare is available now. Goes for a snare on the Naga, but the archers actually just perfect positioning on the archers. I don't think it was on purpose, it was just uh, by accident, but still. That saves the Naga. He's gonna have a depth truth of the talent soon here. A player's forces are under attack. Uh, meanwhile, Sin just kills the Ancient War. Sin has fifty supply here. Against only 32, 70 supply advantage. Also, no Beastmaster. The Naga is, of course, not as good as the Beastmaster later in the game. Still, again, creeping very aggressively. 
Used to dust a bit too early, maybe? Maybe, maybe. At least he didn't use it too late. Uh, there's a medallion of courage. Uh, one of the worst items he could have gotten over here. Plus four strength, plus four intelligence. I mean, at least he didn't get the, the crystal ball. Staffs home the demon hunter. He does have a TP here on the Naga. I see. That's what they gave to the Naga earlier, of course, over here. I thought none of the uh, heroes had the TP, but they gave it to the Naga. Naga died with that TP in her hands. Bring the till, or however she uh, keeps those items, however she brings those items. Because her hands, they're already uh, carrying a bow. So she didn't have the, the TP in her hands. Okay, here comes the attack. 40 supply is 49. We don't have third hero yet for the night of, or do we? We have a tinker over here. Uh, and the Naga TP is home. The even hunter has to be careful. Okay, buy the healing potion. A nice shockwave. Where's the tinker? What is that tinker doing? Mr. Tinker, you're needed, Mr. Tinker. The units here pretty low on hit points and another potion of healing. Uh, if he wants to use it, so if he wants to use it, first you drop the medallion of courage, then you use the potion of healing, and then you pick up the medallion of courage again. So the potion of healing he heals you for more than 250. As I uh, earlier tried to explain. There goes the demon hunter. Demon hunter is surrounded. And does, he does have a staff. Staffs out of Demon Hunter. Buy the healing potion. He does have the Ring of Regeneration as well. What's the Tinker doing? What the fuck, Mr. Tinker? I was thinking at least walk like around like this. But he just came from the top right. Although he placed his uh, pocket factory over there and then dies. Why is Crystal Ball so bad? Don't you want to have a tool to scout enemy expo? And special trained units, etc. Uh, not really. I mean, sometimes the scout for expo is nice, but uh, usually uh, the, you know what units your opponent is making. Nice mana burn for 10. Oh, that's not nice mana burn. Mana burn for 10. Bait master killing uh, Druids of the Thalen. Doesn't kill any Druids of the Thalen. This move all does go down. Close for the second move. Well, doesn't even uh, bother with the demon. Okay, demon hunter buys another healing potion, uses it, but the naga is not helping the demon hunter. Okay, there's a cyclone on the TC, but not on the blade master. And that move will just die there. The grunt dies. 34 supply against 52. 20 supply here for for Sini. There's another archer. This grunt might fall, okay, the grunt fell, but the older moons are down with 30 out of 20 supply here. He didn't even rebuild the tinker, I, I guess he didn't have, didn't have uh, the supply when the tinker died already. He had already lost too many moons. We have some moons there in the back. Team Hunter in the front here. But this is GG, right? Can he come back? There's no more shop. He cannot buy healing potions anymore. It stops out the blade master, a uh, demon hunter one more time. He does not do the Talon. TC is level 3. Okay, and he's retreating. So, uh, yeah, the Crystal Ball, like most of the time, you know when your opponent is expanding uh, because you can just see that the army is smaller. A lot of the times it doesn't even matter because you're just gonna fight this army and win, and because he has a smaller army. Um, yeah, there's no in Warcraft 3, there's no really surprise. I go Chimeras or Chimeras. Well, sometimes there is, but it's very rare. You usually can just scout it with uh, a Wisp or Blade Master or other uses. And uh, the other items are just so much better at this uh, creep camp. Like the other items, they can just make your army so much stronger. Crystal Ball doesn't do anything for your army. And if you have a stronger army, you're just gonna win the game. Here comes Cini again. So aggressive. Well, I mean, Tini at this point, he can uh, he can be aggressive and just win the game here. He could go for an expansion as well. Might be a bit safer, but is he ever going to lose this? Can he ever lose this? The Demon Hunter juice or more Moon Juice. Thirty-five supply against fifty. I guess he could lose this if the Tinker was back somehow. It was 40 against 50. Maybe we still have the chance here for the Night Elf. But that Shockwave, these uh, dudes of the Talon are dying so fast. 
Dead master has to be careful. Uh, I guess he's still in it. Night Elf. Uh, kills the TC. And uh, the Demon Hunter actually... Maybe you're right, Kim friend. If you were talking about Sini, he's uh, overcommitting here. Should have gone for that expansion. Seeing the Orphus Night Elf is very strong. It is. And his Night Elf versus Orc is very strong as well. TC bought back, but now we have 31 against uh, 42 supply. Oh, I see the Tinker's being summoned back. Ancient Wind is building uh, Truth of the Talon, but he only has one Ancient of Wind. Only one. Building the Ancient of Wonders. Maybe he should build the Ancient of War for defense. Because it seems like Sidney just wants to. He's trying to enter, end the game right now, but. Doesn't quite manage to. Is it going for one more round? Yes, we have a 10 supply difference again. There's an ensnare on the Naga. Naga though! Naga, if the Naga is going to fall, this will have to be GG, right? He, maybe he can give the staff to a different hero and try to staff out the Naga. No, Naga just going to die. We didn't see a pocket factory yet either. These uh, raiders going for the Zeus of the Talon. Where, where is the pocket factory? So late with the pocket factory. Uh, well, there goes the dude of the Talon. Uh, the Demon Hunter now dying as well. He's going to die for sure, right? This is, yeah, that Demon Hunter. Now we have a GG. Do we have a GG? There it is, a GG. I'm not sure if it's 1-0 or 1-1. But here we have Karma versus uh, QTC. Karma here in the purple, QTC in the blue. Demon Hunter being focused here. Oh, can he kill the Demon Hunter? Demon Hunter doesn't have any items. Nothing to save himself. Oh, he did have a staff here on the Beastmaster. Uh, but now he's gonna lose the other units to four raiders. I'm not sure if the Knight of can retreat here, if Karma can retreat. He's at 41 supply. Maybe if he uh, is beat as uh, Demon Hunter comes back. Oh, that Tinker survives with four hit points. Tinker comes back. What? Hello, Tinker. Tinker, please. You, you survived, Tinker. Okay, you gave the Tinker for free. It was a present. The Demon Hunter is just... I thought he was coming back, but instead he's just standing here doing nothing. Uh, now he is losing more units when he's trying to retreat. One more Druid of the Talon does go down. We have four Druids of the Talon here. And a Beastmaster. Very long hit point. Maggie. Maggie the Beastmaster. Um, group A, Soculus for low life. Group B, just try Miko. Yeah. It's it's kind of weird, right? In the group B, we don't know. We hardly know anyone besides Chamiko. Then in group A, we have three good players. In group C, we have like a lot of group, good players. Besides uh, Lin, Yunko, PCG, we also have Bo, Isor, Gray, OP Wings. I know all these players. And in group D, we have like three good players. Group E, we have two good players. And well, then other, uh, group F has one good player. Uh, only one good player again. So I don't know how they were decided. Maybe, oh no, group F has uh, TBCBM as well. Actually, I believe they were just uh, from the ladder, right? The top 48 from the ladder. They might they might have been seated depending on the on their uh, letter points. Well, the blade master does have a boost of Kotalas and slippers of agility. He's so strong. Akinos, of course, with level two critical strike. Uh, the the beast master also has a boost of Kotalas. That's going to be great there for the demon hunter. And the demon hunter has other good items as well. The demon hunter might be stronger than the blade master, but not if he dies here. There he gets staffed out. And uh, what, we see it again. Orcus might be overextending here, fighting in the night of base. Beastmaster outside the base though. Does he have a way back? He has to buy another staff and staff that the Beastmaster home or just retreat with the Beastmaster But he will never be able to give that boots of quad the last to the demon hunter there What did, did we see healing scroll or am I seeing things? I think he uh, I saw healing scroll. Yes, tell us one more on the blade master But the blade master is speaking cyclone. Look at this uh, Placement all the dudes of the Talon here. They're so uh, only the blade master can kill them So he should uh, well this radar actually Doing pretty good job killing this guy. 
Didn't micro it. I was expecting him to micro him. Uh, Beastmaster, just give this item to the Blade Master. Now he stops the Blade Master, uh, Demon Hunter first. Should have given the item first, then stop him. Then he could have killed the Blade Master. Now he's gonna lose against the Blade Master. There, Demon Hunter dies. Did he not have Cyclone left? I guess not. Both the Knight of Heroes so low on hit points. Druze of Ten dying as well. 41 supply against 43. It's e oh, oh no, 37 against 46 suddenly. There goes another dude of the Tinker dying again as well. The Beastmaster wants to die as well. Going by Zeppelin. Oh, Orc doesn't pursue. He could have killed the Beastmaster there, but sure. Tinker has like 15 IQ. What do you want from him? <laughs> Tinker, yeah. That's true. Do you play on Eddie's as well? I used to play. I used to play, but I have a hand injury, so I had to retire. What the fuck is that sound? Blade Master killing some more dudes of the Talon. I don't think the Karma can hold off here. Loses that dude of the Talon. When is the hero coming back? Demon Hunter, come back. Demon Hunter, we need you. The Beastmaster almost level 3 though, if you can get a kill. And uh, if you can get that level 2 piggy. Oh, the Beastmaster though is going to die here. There he goes down to the shockwave. Beautiful shockwave. There it is. GG. Anyway, we have save here against... What? Save against who? Elegant. Oh, save against Elegant. Interesting. This, uh, this is a very good game here. Oh. Um, trying to alt tap here. But I broke something. Uh, safe versus elegant. Yeah, safe versus elegant. Of course, I forgot safe is in this group. Elegant is very good as well, by the way. Elegant also very good against Orc, by the way. When we were just talking about the life. Uh, elegant is also winning against Fly. More than 50% of games. Safe here in the teal and... Um, in the yellow we have Elegant. How good were you when you played at a skill 1 to Foggy? It's hard to say. Hard to say. If we're talking about a few months ago, I was uh, I was really bad. Because I, I still, I just came back after like 10 years. So, uh, oh, the Demon Hunter's well, very low. So, uh, I'd, run, I'd say maybe 2. two. On a skill of 1 to Foggy, I'd be 2. Uh, both Demon Hunters surviving. But if we're talking about like 10 years ago, like my, my strategy was not that good, but my micro was really good. So I was like, maybe uh, maybe half a foggy. A player Go one to foggy, half a foggy. I mean, I think uh, I, I don't think it's in balance for the other way around either. I think Orpheus Night Elf is like probably one of the more balanced matchups. Well, I mean, I think a lot of the matchups are pretty balanced. Elegant was on WCG 2013. Korean Night Elves, yeah, the Korean Night Elves are very bad at uh, first orc. You're completely right. Check, uh, remind, Loliath. They're all very bad against orc. They're, they're uh, yeah. And if you look, uh, if you watch their games, you uh, you might say, yeah, like in, like the the orcs are beating the Night Elves. Hunter here, what is he gonna buy? Boots of speed. By the way, we do have a mirror matchup, right? We have Hunter's Hole against Hunter's Hole. We have Bears against Bears. On Twisted Meadows, this usually is the case. We don't see any Druids of the Talon shenanigans. We don't see any Mass Archer shenanigans. We do have two Trolls here. Sometimes we see like Mass Mercenaries against uh, something. <laughs> Against the bears, I guess, and uh, try to win before he gets bears. I believe even uh, Sexy Time beat who was it? The Lion? 
with Loliath by just going mass trolls and archers and just not even uh, getting a hunter swap, not getting any tier 2 building swap, just mass mercenaries and archers and just won the game early game. Nice mana burn there on the Naga. He's focusing the Naga. The Naga here for Elegant. She's not gonna survive. Or well, maybe she will. Oh, beautiful, uh, beautiful block there with the Archer. Of course, what I'm saying, of course the Naga survives because Elegant has that beautiful Archer micro. And if, instead, he forces the TP here on uh, on safe. Elegant, such a good player. And like two weeks ago, I didn't know who Elegant was. I didn't know anything about Elegant. Now, he's like one of my favorite players. He's just so good at this game. Demon Hunter kills his Wisp. Gets detonated in the face. No mana for this Demon Hunter. Elegant Saga is safe. Careful, Ross. So if she's, if she's safe, then Wu is playing for Teal. Uh, double Angel of Lore here. Double Angel of Lore here as well. Okay. So, uh, we have Angel of War creeping here, but... Well, they're keeping this together. Such nice, uh, the Knight of Brethren in arms. They're keeping these creep <laughs> this creep camp together. The Demon Hunter for uh, safe though, got the item, the Robe of the Magi. This is gonna be nice for the Naga. He wants to give that to the Naga in a, as soon as possible. The Demon Hunter here for what is fate for Elegance, pretty low hit points. Archer. Vibes. He goes for the Age of War instead. Demon Hunter has the Info Potion, so he won't die anytime soon. Kills up one Archer. Naga still level 1. Oh, he did give the item to the Naga. Look at this. Plus 9 Intelligence. This Naga is so much stronger than this other Naga. The Naga for safe. Plus 9 Intelligence. The Naga for elegant. No items at all. Play that after this game, please. <laughs> I mean, I can't. I can't. I might, uh, might. If we have some downtime, I'll play some Slither. As long as we have games, I have to keep playing. Uh, keep uh, casting tournament. I think Elegant is around the level of Alice. Okay, well, the thing about Alice is, I don't really know how good Alice is. I, uh, I actually think Elegant is a bit better than Alice, mostly because. I've, I don't know, Alice doesn't seem to do too well in tournaments. Well, Elegant... I mean... He just came back, right? So Elegant also just came back, right? We'll see how good he does in GCS. Uh, but Alice, so Alice, I never see Alice play on ladder. Never. Or maybe he has some, uh, some more accounts, I don't know that they are Alice. But, uh, of course, I know Kampi. Kampi loves Alice as well. Thirty-one IQ Naga. Yeah, she's smart. She's smart, man. She could, uh, she could study math. She oh, also by the way, Scourge Bone Chimes. Very nice item there. What do we have here? Here we have uh, loot of accuracy. Not so nice item. So nice. Naga twenty-seven. Naga thirty-six IQ now. Thirty-six. What? Thirty-six? Yeah, thirty-six. Uh, Zeppelin, can he go for the Tree of Eternity? Do we have a TP here? Of course we do. We have a TP for safe. Actually, there's only two bears anyway. So, uh, two bears, they don't kill anything too fast. Oh, the Zeppelin in danger. This archer even uh, is being left behind. Just like Kerrigan was. He didn't join the side of the opponent. Uh, Chaco Taco. Zeppelin. Survives with like 74 hit points. <laughs> Almost flies back into the archer. He's like, uh, I wanna die, please. No. 
changed his mind at the last moment. He was like about to commit suicide. But then he was too scared, too afraid of death. Instead he uh he just gave up on life. He's just in a corner here, crying in a corner, in a fire. Ooh, do we see now a counter zeppelin drop? Or maybe he doesn't realize there's no units in the zeppelin. Maybe he thinks there's still units in the zeppelin, so he has to kill the zeppelin. <laughs> save is kind of wasting so much time here. Again, this is an empty zeppelin. Save. Oh, he does get the archer shot up off. 38 hit points. And here, uh, now he knows it's an empty zeppelin. Because here comes the, the army of Elegant. And here is the zeppelin dropping units right next to these bears. are still in, in, in uh, human form. But there it goes bear form. We have four bears against three bears. One more bear for, uh, for Elegant. Also we have expansion for Elegant. This bear gets saved in the zeppelin. Zeppelin of Michael of course, so key in this matchup. And if, don't forget Elegant. No, what? No, what? Wait. Oh no, it was the other player. Um... Safe does have that Scourge Bone Chimes. That's uh, a big deal here. There's a nice rejuvenation. And uh, Elegant, 7 supply down. That Zeppelin just won the won the game here, I believe, for Safe. I mean, it's not over yet, but... It's going to be pretty difficult here for uh, Elegant to come back. Maybe if there's an expansion and never scouted. Even if it's not never scouted. Even if it's not scouted. Might not matter. Safe has such a such an advantage. If he fights soon, I think he can win easy peasy. I got level two here. I got level three here. Of course, it's not just the zeppelin. It's also the items on the naga. The items on the demon hunter are kind of similar. But the naga is just so much stronger here. This is just insane. Not only plus 9 intelligence, also Scourge Bone Champs and a greater mana potion as well. This should be easy peasy for safe. Easy peasy. Nice uh, roar being used there. Four bears. I guess he's he has one bear down, safe is. But he does have two archers, a berserker, and a um, triad. Well, on this side, we only have one archer. There's a fourth bear. I think I think safe should just uh, commit maybe to a fight, even though it's next to the moon wells. He does have the the zeppelin. He has the more na mana on the naga. He has the the level two for landing. Oh no, he's level two frost arrows. Interesting. Level two frost arrows. Uh, drops on items, uses a greater mana potion, picks up back the uh, picks up back the items back up. Oh, we have a zeppelin now for uh, elegant as well. Look at all these bears that are being saved. Look at all these bears. Isn't it beautiful? They're all like in the deep red, now demons as well. But the problem is, now what? Don't think he killed anything either. Like saves, uh, save, save his bears. Just fine. Oh, did safe scout this expansion yet? Don't think so. Okay, we might have a comeback now for Elegant. Although he's still not mining gold here. Taco taco. See so many tacos in chat, I'm, get, I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. Oh. This bear is, uh, could use another rejuvenation, but he, I guess he doesn't have the uh, mana for it. Mana burn for 100. 100. The Team Hunter puts it back down. There's a level 1 for lightning. The level 2 arrow, of course, is very nice. It uh, reduces the attack speed by 50%. So if you can just attack your opponent's Demon Hunter, he's not in a Zeppelin. He's, uh, yeah, pretty much as weak as, what, as a, as a half a demon hunter. Okay, we, uh, we save is going for the Tree of Eternity. He has a lot of bears attacking the Tree of Eternity. Of course, when you attack the Tree of Eternity, you also get health back with Scourge Bone Chimes. But I, does he really get it? I don't think so. He doesn't have level 2 for gliding yet. The Wisp can easily repair this without in danger of being killed. Level 1 only does, uh... How much damage? 85 damage to 3 targets. 
the Sarek just has to retreat it. I don't think he should have gone for the tier of eternity. He does kill one more bear there. We have 58 supply against uh, 47. He uses a scroll of healing there. These bears go for the demon hunter. Demon hunter of, uh, what's his face, of uh, elegant in trouble. But he buys a healing potion. But still, bears doing so much damage. I get staffed out. Naga as well, doing a lot of damage. These bears are all pretty low here for safe. But there's not much left here for uh, Elegant. He's at 35 supply out of 58. Naga finally level 4. Level 2 for Lightning. Bear dies to a 96 mana, damage, uh, mana burn. These bears dying as well. Uh, where is the Zeppelin actually for? Oh, here it is. Zeppelin for safe. Safe. Uh, his Demon Hunter is not safe. Staffs out his Demon Hunter. This bear uh, dies as well. And do we see a temporary temporary retreat here for safe? Yes. And is he gonna scout this expansion? Well, is that it? He is moving this way. Oh, he doesn't scout it! He didn't scout it. And Demon Hunter by himself. Pretty strong here, but there's an archer, there, uh, no, Dryad, and a Demon Hunter. And this is exactly what I was talking about last game. Even though he didn't scout the exp expansion, Safe is winning. Just because uh, because he had to, he had to build that expansion, he spent a lot of resources. His army was smaller, and because of that, Safe was able to win the game. Although it's not over yet. If uh, if Elegant can uh, can stabilize, of course. Uh, I would prefer that he would scout it. That would be better, still. If he really wanted to win this game. A player's forces are under attack. Right, has to be uh, careful. We still have only level 3 heroes here for Elegant. Look at this, this Naga. Just barely level 3. 502 XP. Look at this Naga. Almost a double XP, 999 XP against 502 XP. That's uh, like 3 XP of being double the XP. Uh, we have two bears killing the Ace of Lore, one of them even being attacked by Tree of Eternity. That's not a good placement for that bear, but he kills these bears here of the, of Elegant, easy peasy, with his level 4 Demon Hunter. With his Naga, with the level 2 Frost Arrow, so good. So good is that Frost Arrow. Level 5 Demon Hunter now. Against level 3. The Naga here. Naga is going to die. Gets stopped out. She's alive but for now with 2 hit points. Even want to use the info potion. Do I have the double XP yet? 1128 against 532. Yes, that's double the XP. What about Demon Hunters? I don't know because that Demon Hunter just died. But I think there was uh, well over double the XP on the Demon Hunter as well. And GG. Here is game 2 between Elegant and and safe Your building is complete. in the purple we have elegant and in the blue we have safe it nice night of mirror hopefully it won't be mirror this game hopefully it will be something exciting like archers against bears or dudes of the talon against minus giants or huntresses against glaive throwers doesn't matter what as long as we have an exciting game of uh that's not the same against the same there's a wisp wisp scout scout for elegant scouts archer why does he change why does he change colors like that he was a beautiful yellow and now it's purple okay even under killing some units here some ogres some uh Circle of mobility. Okay, what do we have here for Elegant? He has a ring of protection. Remember last game, Safe got very lucky, lucky with his Curse Bone Chimes. Much better items there last game for uh, Safe. That's why he was able to win. This time again, we should have a ring of protection here for Elegant. Well, Safe has a beautiful circlet. Circlet is just so much better than a ring of protection. It's insane. And we already have a level 2 Demon Hunter against level 1 Demon Hunter. That's how much the circle, how much better the circle is. He's already ahead in XP. 
Or maybe that was because the archer was buying a first floor shadow priest. Well, we don't have the archer here buying any first floor shadow priest. Save for just creeping with his archers. That body was able to creep a bit faster. But also the circlet uh, adds more damage, of course. I mean, it adds damage. The ring of protection doesn't add any damage at all. The first floor shadow priest and the archer find his wisp. The wisp retreats. Of course, with that forest stall shadow priest here, should be an easy fight here if they're gonna fight for uh, elegant. Demon Turk slices the archer, two slices. She's still alive. The demon hunter's buying something. Well, the archers are creep jacking. Okay, demon hunter bought a stuff as well. And what boots on? Yeah, boots and dust. Saw this TP uh, again. A ring of protection here for elegant. Very bad items, and he had to use his TP. But because uh, because safe sold his TP, he was able to force the TP of elegant. So that was pretty nice, I guess. Good choice. Elegant is behind in XP, but only slightly. Still pretty equal. We have three archers here for safe. Two archers here for elegant, but what are they doing? No archers. You cannot fight against a demon hunter by yourself. Demon hunter has boots, so he's definitely gonna kill one. Hey, no, 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 no. I'll take that back. Of course, elegant with their beautiful archer micro. Saves his archers. Demon hunter, what was he doing over here? Was it a wisp? I don't know. Maybe that was a wisp. And we see the demon hunter now going for this item. Claws of attack. Much better items here for safe. Claws of attack. Circlet. Much better, of course, than these city rings of protection. This archer will fall, though. So that's nice for uh, Elegant killing one archer. Of course, I'm rooting for Elegant because I want at least uh, a third game in this matchup. This best of three. Archer. Still dusted. She couldn't hide. Plenty of movements up. Man burn, man burn. Man burn. Do we have a hunter's hole up? We do have a hunter's hole uh, uh, up here. One up here as well. So both players with hunter's hole. Both both players with bears again. There's the Ancient of Lore already here for Elegant. Second Ancient of Lore. Maybe uh, attack first, then build a second one. I'm not sure. The Naga is out here for Elegant. There's the Agent of the Lord for safe, and he's going Keeper of the Grove second. So, <clears throat> Keeper of the Grove is very similar to the Naga. It's just, uh, it takes a while before he gets out of your altar. Naga is out immediately from the tavern. Uh, but Keeper is better on higher levels. Yeah, he's focusing the Naga. Nice mana burn. Naga. They'll survive 150 mana. Do we see another entangle? Even if we do, no, we don't have mana for this spell. Naga is probably gonna survive here because he doesn't have boots, of course, on that uh, keeper. But this four star shadow priest will go down. The Ancient of War killing archers here. Demon Hunter still uh, is pretty low here for Elegant. So is his Naga. He has to retreat, he has to heal up. This is one more archer to this entangle. There she goes. Mana burden on the keeper. The keeper now out of mana. No more entangles. Blocks the uh, demon hunter. Tries to save his archer, but didn't really do a good job of it. Instead, he blocks his own archer. The archer does fall, but the, the keeper should be fine. Even though we have boots here on the naga, I uh, don't think the keeper is in any danger. Do we have stuff? We do have ancient wonders almost up here. What about our other player? What about Elegant? He does have an Ancient of Wonders up as well. Did he buy the staff already? Didn't buy the staff yet. But he's creeping. He's killing this Gnoll. And he gets he gets a Ring of Regeneration. That's not a good item in this matchup. I mean, it's good for now, for a little bit. But after you get your bears out, after you get the uh, that bears with Regeneration, it's just... Uh, the, the Ring of Regeneration is just useless. Ah, uh, not useless. Maybe you keep it. Because your demon hunter is usually hurt most of the time. So, uh, 
the thing of regeneration does give you a lot of hit points. Maybe not used it. Maybe it's actually not as bad as uh, just said it was. He kills at uh, level 4 troll. Archer gets uh, detonated. Another Archer, the Wisp. Uh, Naga here almost level 2. Dryad here against Dryad. And Entangle gets dispelled. Oh, but it's Dryad. Dryad went down because we didn't have staff here for, uh, for Elegant. To, like we have for safe. Safe can save his drives, but he lo loses the drive there uh, anyway. Safe lost the drive. Demon Hunter and the uh, Naga. Kill this archer. There's mana burn there on the Naga. Naga level 2. The Keeper. Still level 1, but very close to level 2. There's a Rejuvenate on the Naga and the Bear. Bear form. And the Demon Hunter retreats. Demon Hunter already has an orb as well. Well, the Demon Hunter here, no orb. No orb for elegance yet, but he does have master bears. Do we have master bears? Yes, we have master bears for safe as well. Even over here with just a naga and one bear and a, and a tree, but it's gonna be creep jack. Here we see the creep jack. Safe gonna go for the creep jack. Mana burn on the naga. The 17 mana burn only, but the ancient war was killed. The demon hunter is out or back out with a rejuvenation as well, maybe. There it is. This bear could use a rejuvenation as well. With this bear. A use call uh, uses a roar. Uses a rejuvenation on himself instead of this other bear that you was able to use more there. We see rejuvenation on the demon hunter here. 37 against 39 supply. Three bears against two bears. Oh, he finds a bear. What is this bear doing over here? Well, it's dying. Save is just like, uh, okay, I got lucky last game. So I'll give you a bear this game. Makes it more even. Besides, he also had, uh, was lucky this game with much better items than these rings of protection. So, uh, yeah, giving the bear, donating the bear. It's just because he's so nice. Now he's going to creep here, but he's going to lose some moogles. Four bears in his base. And what item does he get? He does get healing wards. Is he gonna. What is he going to do here? He bought a zeppelin. Staffs at home. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. Uh, buys the zeppelin, staffs at home, then uses staff of TP to go home. He lost two moon worlds already, though. But he did get that, those healing wards. Healing words in this matchup is pretty good. What round? It's a uh, round of 48. Uh, it's a, it's group stages, so. A player's forces are under attack. Probably the winner of this. I'm not sure. Because I don't have detailed information here, but. Pretty sure that the winner of this. But at least if Elegant wins this, I'm pretty sure he will advance. I'm not sure how it works if uh, save wins this. I'm not sure if... Uh... Actually, I think it's uh, it's not around well, but it's not based on points. So I wonder if this is already like the winner of this goes th through. No, we still saw Sawin playing, right? We still saw Sawin playing. So probably the winner of this still has to win one more game at the very least. Or maybe more. I don't know. I wish I had more information for you guys. But here we have a fight here. Three uh, level 3 demon hunters. We have uh, level 2 secondary heroes. Uh, 41 supply only for safe. 48 here, of course, for uh, elegant. He has more bears. The bears also have an uh, armor upgrade. Safe bears do not have an armor upgrade, but the healing ward, maybe the healing ward can do something. Well, the healing ward can heal a little bit, but now he gets killed. These drives here, they're being saved by the by the zeppelins. Look at these, this bear and this drive. So long hit points. Drops down his uh, demon hunter. Back down, saved us. But uh, safe is behind 15 supply. Lotus is not a bear. And, uh, but yeah, safe. It's behind the supply, but he does win the fight here in the end. I mean, cannot really say he won the fight, but at least he forced, uh, he forced the retreat 
here on uh, on elegant all his units are very low though if he, he just needs to heal up maybe safe can do something here maybe he can uh, attack prevent uh, prevent elegant from healing up maybe with the dried how many drives does he have one dried only can uh, he has four dispels does uh, if save if uh, elegant heals back up He's just gonna win the game. He's 60 supply in 37. 23 supply up. And save is still supply blocks. He needs to build another moon wall. He's building that moon wall. Look how much money save has though. Over 1k gold. He does get his moon walls back up. Maybe another one. Maybe he should build another one already. Won't be too far behind in supply. He gets more bears. Gets no more dryads. Doesn't get anything from this lore. Why don't both players buy healing scroll? Well, we have a healing scroll here for the keeper. Well, don't know why Elegant is not buying any healing scrolls. Elegant is uh, over 50 supply. So I guess it's just more, more useful to buy more units. There's a mana burn on the keeper. Uh, what item did he get over here? Um, Ring of Protection plus 3, pretty bad. Anyway, he TP's out because he was creep jacked. 49 supply against 60. And save, save has more gold. He should pro probably be able to go to 60 as well. And he has a healing scroll. And buys a TP as well. Okay, now we have a healing scroll here for uh, Elegant as well. Still 10 supply advance here for Elegant. Save has of course a higher income. Um, Zeppelin attack. Zeppelin attack from the back. There's so many bears here for uh, Elegant. It's insane. Never seen so many bears before in my life. And they're fighting against this bear. Look at this bear. This bear is going to die. It's uh, being attacked by five bears. One bear versus five bears. That's usually not, doesn't go good for one, the one bear. Uh, this bear being micro. These two bears being micro back a little bit. Uh, what's happening over here? The Demon Hunter and the Naga, both very low, but I'll oh, use the heal scroll. And it's a oh, beautiful block there, Bro blocking the Demon Hunter from uh, the shop and the move over here. Demon Hunter went down there for safe, and there it is, GG. We have a 1-1 one, one score. Passion for Sawin. I think this is... Um, I th so I think this is Love Tiger in the bracket. So we, uh, Passion, I mean, Passion, 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 not Sawin. So I don't know the score either. Don't know it. I know it's best of three, of course. Best of three. Um, yeah. Oh, we have Huntresses. Let's see some Orc players. Well, Sawin is definitely an Orc player. And uh, Passion is, of course, an, a French player. French Night Elf. Uh, he lives in China. That's uh, about all I know about him. Well, I know a bit more. He was at GCS. He was at GCS summer last week. And I think he casted a little bit. Or he was at least... Uh, on stream for a little bit. With Neo. We have two grunts here. Can he kill them? Actually, let me uh, close this for a second. Three Huntresses, so uh, three Huntresses, is he going, oh he is going Druid of the Talon by the way, so he goes Huntresses into Druid of the Talon, which all the way is very nice, because then the Orc player goes Shadow Hunter, because he sees the Huntresses, but, you know, Huntresses, uh, wait, Shadow Hunter does very bad against Druid of the Talon, I think this is, uh, if I was playing, you know, if I was still playing, I would still just go TC, even if I see Huntresses, because, you know, Dryads, Bears, they're just uh, relatively easy to beat, uh, even with PC. Well, uh, the opposite, if the opposite happens, like this game, if you get a Shadow Hunter against the Dudes of the Talon, it's so difficult, man. It's, it's uh, almost impossible. It's this The win rate here for Orc is very low with the Shadow Hunter against the Dudes of the Talon. I'd rather play with a TC versus Dryads. Then with the Shadow Hunter against Druids of the Talon. 
But we'll see. We do have. Uh, I do believe Sawin is a bit better player than Passion. A uh, Passion, just a little bit. So he might be able to uh, to come back here. What's your rate? <laughs> I was joking, okay? I was joking. <laughs> I won't fart on stream, no matter how much you guys donate. Besides, you guys don't even want want to see me fart or hear me fart. You guys are just joking as well, hopefully. Hunter's level two. East pass level two. Uh, potion of greater healing on the demon hunter. And a Sobi mask. Okay, that's pretty good. Pretty good there for the beast master. You know, over here. Okay, some some mana for the shadow hunter. I guess that's good as well. This matchup, two rule circlets. He did go with healing wave and hex. No uh, serpent wards. Demon Hunter is level 3. How much for a shard? What is a shard? Is that uh, the... What, what does the SH stand for? The art probably stands for some kind of fart. So the SH... Shadow Hunter? Shadow Hunter fart? Is that the shard? The Shadow Hunter fart? Shadow Hunter level 2. Kigami level 3. Some nice creeping going on. Demon Hunter level 2. Peacemaster level 2. I think we need a shard. Oh, I don't know what the shard is. Maybe I should Google it since we're just creeping anyway. Nothing interesting happening anyway. Shard. Shit and fart. What happens when you involuntarily poop when trying to pass gas. Oh. Uh, <laughs> great. You know, I could, I, the, re, the way to make a shard, since it's involuntarily, um, is that I have to eat something that will give me a stomach ache, which I really don't like. But yeah, then I could make a shard. Uh, so we have level 3 Shadow Hunter, level 3 Blade Master, level uh, the, still level 2 heroes here for Passion. If they fight right now, maybe we have a chance here for Sawin. Because we have uh, 4 dudes of the Talon. Uh, I'm laughing too hard right now. I don't know, it's. I uh, don't like shards too much. We have uh, more intelligence here for the Shadow Hunter. Plus 12 intelligence. Look at the IQ of the Shadow Hunter, 34. That's uh, not as high as the Naga was last game, but it's pretty, pretty smart still. Blade Master has level two Windwalk, level one Critical Strike. Of course, he didn't realize he was playing against Druids of the Talon, so he went. Oh no, never mind. We're watching Sawin. Sawin always get goes level two Windwalk, level one Critical Strike, even against Druids of the Talon. Okay, we do have level 3 heroes now for Passion. He went out to creep something, got level 3 on both heroes and then TP'd home. Which is, uh, that was needed. He needed those level 3s. And there's 56 supply now for Sawin, 50 here for, for Passion. But remember, the Druids of the Talon, there's no counter to them, there's no TC. There's, there's the Shadow Hunter, but the Blade Master killing Wisps. The Shadow Hunter. Pretty useless, useless. Maybe not useless, but not that, not as good as a TC would be. This uh, Druid of Talon goes down. The Coda just eats a Huntress without cooking it. Just raw. Guess that the stomach of the Coda is pretty strong. He might uh, short later though if the Huntress was uh, maybe not as fresh as he thought she was. Here is a. Uh, Fight, Blade Master being Cyclone. There goes the first Huntress, the second Huntress going down very fast as well. I'm not sure, maybe he shouldn't have his Huntress there just in the front, just tanking all the damage. He should have probably had his Huntress maybe somewhere behind his heroes. I'm not sure exactly how much the range is if they can attack from behind the hero. Probably not, but at least uh, don't let them die that easily. 
See, uh, now he's going for this dude of the Thailand. It's not being micro, it just went down. Um, where's the demon hunter? Where is he? Okay, the demon hunter's over here. He was hexed probably, that's why I didn't see him. No more mana on the shadow hunter, but he does get level 4 for some extra mana. And does seem like Sowin is doing just fine. Like here I was saying how Sowin was going to lose because he went shadow hunter second. All of that was just a lie. I was just lying to you guys. Like, it does look like Suin is gonna win this game easily peasily. Gonna kill this uh, Demon Hunter perhaps. Oh, the Demon Hunter had, still had a great approach of healing. Use that, he's fine. And now the Demon Hunter is surrounded. He goes down, drops his Tower of Preservation, gives it to the Tinker, but uh, Tinker cannot use it anymore because the Demon Hunter is dead. Let's just say it's 1 1. Let's just say it is 1 1. 1 1. 1 1. 1-1, one, one, by the way, is exactly what the dog says in China. Instead of woof, 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 they say 1-1-1-1. A bunch of ones. Uh, we have a Demon Hunter. Yeah, Demon Hunter. We have a Blade Master. Great, great early game. Great start. Nice dust there. See the Blade Master gives him a nice mana burn. What do we have here? We have a Hunter's Hole again. Again, he's going for Hunters. I wonder if he's going. Uh, yeah, I, I assume on this map he's going to do some Thailand as well. Do we see Shadow Hunter sec again second? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to say exactly the same thing as last game. Oh, we cannot win against Zeus of the Talon with the Shadow Hunter. I might say it again this game. We'll see. Blade Master gets his item, Gauntlet of Ogre Strength. Unfortunately, unfortunately for him, no slippers of agility. And no mana either, no uh, intelligence, mantle of intelligence. Gondolet of Ogre Strength is kind of useless, but... Well, we don't know yet. We might still see Ancient of Lores on this map. First Hunter is out. One more. Demon Hunter, is he gonna creep this? But it's already been crept. Wisp gets ensnared. The Grunt, is ki the Grunt just kills the Wisp, but now the Grunt is ensnared. Does the Demon Hunter and the Hunters find the Grunt? This time the Blade Master find a bit better item. The Mantle of Intelligence is gonna be great, absolutely beautiful and... Perfect for the Shadow Hunter or TC, maybe. If we see TC, I like it uh, a bit less, maybe. Might still be okay for uh, for TC. He needs more than one mana item, though. If it's a TC, I feel like uh, just a one mana of intelligence often doesn't even give you an extra shockwave. Grant is going to die. This is dust. Blade Master has been uh oh nice uh, speed call. Okay, the gun might survive now. The hunters can can't uh, catch that grunt from uh can't flank that grunt. Instead, she came from the wrong side. The grunt might still die though. He's being hunted down by the demon hunter, just like Slither. Like this is like me. And this is like your biggest snake on the map. That's how you should see it. And the biggest snake was so afraid of me that he died to some other uh, some other snakies. Over here has been uh, moved as well. Almost tier 2. What item will you get over here? Blade Master, what item do you want? You want damage, right? He gets a close of attack, that's nice. Nice. Blade Master, instead of the circlets, he just wants the damage in this matchup. Uh, well, that depends, of course, if the Knight is going to do it of the Talon or Dryad. Or bears. If they go dries and bears, yeah, the circlet is better than the damage. It falls off attack. If we see Druids of Talon, you, you just want the damage. The Claws of Attack, the Claws of Haste. What do we have here? We have Ancient of Lores. We have Ancient of Lores. So let's see what hero. Shadow Hunter. We have a Shadow Hunter. He gives the Mantle of Intelligence to the Shadow Hunter. And let's see what those Ancient of Lores can do here for Passion. Passion has. Three hunters, two trolls, pretty big army here. Uh, belt of giant strength. Our 
Oh, no second hero yet. There's a keeper. Ooh, keeper, three huntresses, and there were four trolls. He has a much stronger army in the next uh, two minutes or so. After his keeper comes out, he should really try to pick something off and try to win the game. This is when I was playing. This was the what I had the most trouble with when I was playing against Night Elf. When I would get a few huntresses and they get the mercenaries and their army is uh, too strong. Or orc to deal with. Like, orc should uh, try to hold off. Doesn't want to fight until later. Uh, Ring of Protection is nice. Uh, it's not nice. Not nice. But it's nice for Serene, I guess. We have a chicken here. Sasquatch. Back. Oh, did we miss something? Not sure. Uh, the keeper is out. He's trying to kill some units. Uh, what is this bunny? It's a wisp. A bunny wisp. And he kills the bunny wisp with his blade master. Blade master level three now. Demon hunter also level three. Keeper level one. Shadow hunter level two. Three hunters. Uh, the forest soul uh, forest soul shadow priest apparently died. He's getting more some more hunters. Uh, some uh, dryads. Flying sheep here. Happening over here. Zulkis! We have Zulkis the Shadow Hunter! Zulkis and Yoshira. Zulkis wants to get level 3. Level 2 healing wave is nice. Great. Uh, do we see attack to the Tree of Eternity? No, he's just going mass. Mass Dryads. Which is nice. Astra is of course very nice, uh, but he needs to fight soon. He's at 50 supply now, if he builds one more drive than this. Uh, Blade Master, I think he did steal all that. I'm pretty sure he stole that level 5 Sasquatch. Also he stole the item, so many sentry wards here for the Blade Master. He placed one down here, no he did not. This is actually, uh, well, actually Fashion had a sentry ward over here. He didn't see the blade master. Well, he probably saw the blade master incoming. Oh no, he just placed it after probably after the blade master was there. And we have uh, more sentry wards, of course. We have one over here for passion as well. So many sentry wards this game. We have two sets of sentry wards for Serene as well. One of them uh, placed here, I guess. Yeah. And this raider, this raider in trouble. Is this raider going to die? Every raider matters. Raiders are so important. Does he have double BCR raiders? Yes, he does have. Okay, nice. Double BCR raiders is, of course, a counter to master rides. We have uh, five raiders now. And the blade master going for the keeper. I'm not sure if he should be going for the keeper when he didn't snare the keeper. The blade master is uh, losing some damage trying to run after the keeper. Use the info potion on the keeper. I don't like that too much. A bit, uh, a bit early. But uh, he's, he's focusing these raiders. Two of the raiders have fallen. There's just three raiders left. Now the blade master is, is uh, doing something more useful. Which is uh, attacking the drives which are en ensnared. So he doesn't run around doing nothing. Uh, a few uh, drives have been killed. But most of the raiders have been killed as well. Only one? Only one? Only one raider left? Only one raider? Oh, two raiders left. I can count. Uh, two raiders, but this one is going to fall. Now it's one. But uh, another one shows up. And says hi. And snares at uh, first hole. Oh, what is dry doing? Is dry all the way in the back? Wasn't uh, being micro, it was just still on the rally point on the probably on the Demon Hunter. This grunt will fall though. Mana burn on Shadow Hunter. Is he playing 2 TP or can he still win this? Against three raiders. I, I don't think he can win this. Where's the keeper? The keeper is on his way back. Uh, and two more drives uh, helping out as well. Maybe with those units, uh, Passion has a chance here. He is two supply behind, so he will kill this raider here. And this raider is in danger as well. Okay. Uh, the Blade Master kills that Huntress. Who is ahead right now? 35 against 37. Level 4 Demon Hunter against level 4 Blade Master. Level 3 Shadow Hunter against level 2 Keeper. So I guess uh, but the Shadow Hunter is out of mana. Do we have another mana burn? No, he used the Hex on the, on the Demon Hunter. He has to buy a healing potion. Uses it and survives, of course. This Huntress, though, taking damage from the Burrow. This Huntress dying so fast. For free almost, All because he's trying to hunt down that uh, Shadow Hunter. Will he get it? Shadow Hunter at 44 hit points. I don't think he will get it. 
because he get he's safe there in the back of his base. There's no way you can uh, walk all the way in there. The keeper is now being killed by the blade master. He has a TP. TP's out, of course. And the demon hunter killing this raider. The dried goes down as well. It's uh, well, I think it's pretty good here for Serene because he didn't die just yet. The longer this game goes, the better it is for Serene. Like the higher the hero levels get, the better it is for uh, Serene, right? Because his heroes are just stronger, and the raiders aren't too, as weak to heroes as the drives are. The drives are very weak against heroes. But what is a high level demon or a high level keeper of growth gonna do against raiders? Sure, uh, high level entangle might do more damage to a raider. But it's nothing compared to like a higher level blade master. Like, for example, level 3 critical strike blade master against dryads. It's just insane. So, uh, slowly, this game is gonna get harder and harder here for passion. He's not uh, too far behind in supply yet, neither is he too far behind in XP yet. He has one armor upgrade on his drives. Here the raiders also have one armor upgrade. What item did he get by the way? Home of failure! Okay, maybe Soin is going to lose this game. He gets an unlucky item. Sure, it is uh, not the worst item. There are like three items there that, are wor that would be worse than Helm of failure. Like medallion, medallion of Courage, Hood of Cunning, Crystal Ball, those items are all worse. Maybe Cloak of Flames even in this situation. So I guess there are four items worse than a Helm of Failure. But Helm of Failure, it might not be the worst item, but it does bring the worst luck. So now going for the other uh, red. Creep camp as well. There's a bunny scouting. Bunny scouting and dried as well. Does he. No, the sentry ward is no longer there. He doesn't see the blade master. Or does he? Not sure what, they, what he sees, but. Oh, well, actually, we'll have a fight here. Uh, we have a bunch of raiders again. We have a Kodo. And a lot of drives as well. But this dried can be Michael. It's not that stared. Why no Michael passion? Because it was Michael and he's a keeper. Which makes sense, but I think he could have done both. There was a nice uh, mana burn on the Shadow Hunter. This uh, Dryad is getting killed by the Raiders very easily. Again, it wasn't Michael, but uh, Keeper will fall here for sure. There goes the P Keeper. The Kodo is going to fall as well. I mean, why? <laughs> why, Sorin? <laughs> why try to eat the Dryad? It doesn't matter. Just keep the damage boost. Keep the Kodo in the back. He also even attacks for some decent damage against Dryads. The Blade Master level 5, by the way, so he can kill whatever he wants. This is GG. GG! There it is. Yumiko versus Bo, or Hurricane Bo. We also know him. I thought like Hurricane was like part of his clan or something, but apparently it's just part of his name. Hurricane Bow. Uh, level 4 Mountain Gear here for Yumiko. Beautiful Breath of Fire. Level 1 Panda. Sinjo Honeybrew. We also have a level 3 uh, Dark Ranger with... Uh, wait, that was his first hero. Okay. Dark Ranger first with level 2 Black Arrow. Or Dark Arrow? Black Arrow. Oh, Black Arrow. So, uh, Skeletons. Well, I don't see any skeletons in fact, so they have all been dispelled killed. Oh, the panda goes down! With the nice Stormbolt. Uh, this archer is... That This archer... Oh, let's, let's see what he Stormbolts. He Stormbolts that archer. He loses a, a footman though, but didn't summon a skeleton. So, I'm not sure why. Maybe it was out of mana or something? No, maybe... I don't know. Maybe it was just attacking something else. Does get a skeleton from this other unit. Mount King. Can kill whatever he wants with the Stormbolt. Level 2 Stormbolt kills archers. Kills uh, anything. Anything you can Stormbolt is probably going to die. The Dark Ranger now trying to kill Forest Soul Shadow Priest. Even though Forest Soul Berserker didn't have enough hit points to survive that level 2 Stormbolt, plus a little bit of damage of the Mountain King and uh, the other Forest Soul, uh, the Forest Soul Berserker of Yumiko. Yumiko now 42 supply, bow at 29. He has an expansion up though, and how much later was it than the human expansion? About uh, 1k, a little bit more than 1k behind. 
which is not that far behind, I believe. Uh, we see more peasants here for Yumiko and defend. And the Mother King, though, is almost level 5. Dark Ranger level 4. Panda's back. Of course, level 1 Panda comes back in like a matter of seconds. And here are Dryads. Of course, Dryads not that good against Footman with defend. Uh, meanwhile, we see Hurricane Bow creeping a little bit more. Dark Ranger has two claws of attack, but doesn't even attack very fast. Wow, I didn't know Dark Ranger has such low attack speed because it's an agility hero, right? Primary attrib attribu eh. attribute is agility. Attribute. Uh, but still, even with two claws of haste, she's not attacking very fast. She has a very low attack speed. For a Jedi hero, Mother King just comes in and steals the item, uh, sells the item, steals the XP as well, of course. Uh, I'm not sure if he was already level five or if he just got level five. But there's nice Stormbolt on the mount on the panda. Panda goes not down. He uses the info potion. He survives for now. He can. Uh, but how is he gonna survive after his info potion is gonna run out? Oh, the panda! He's gonna buy an item maybe. What is gonna buy? Uh, there's nothing to buy. But the uh, Mount King actually lets the panda live. He's just uh, killing Dryads. There's a nice breath of fire. One <coughs> Berserker dies. Okay, now he decides to go for the panda. Now that he sees that the panda is level 2, he realizes level 2 panda is more XP than level 1 at panda. So maybe he purposely let the panda get level 2 so he got more XP. Uh, one footman died there. We have a bunch of skeletons. Dark Ranger in trouble though. Stormbolt on Dark Ranger. Oh, she's going to die. She could have TP'd out, dodged that, uh, that Stormbolt, but she does. She's lucky there to survive. Dark Ranger survives. Um, I have Master Bears though. GG. I don't think it's GG just yet. Because of the Master Bears. Right? The Master Bears against uh, Yumiko's army is still pretty weak. Yumiko's 2 supply ahead only. Sure, he has a level 5 Mount King. But the Dark Ranger survived. Of course, there's no demon hunter here. Thanks to the wind. Winter GCS, yeah. Winter GCS is already. Uh, I was surprised as well. Like, didn't know. Even, I didn't even know that was going to happen. I thought GCS was like once a year kind of tournament, but uh, apparently, Winter GCS was uh, like the qualifiers start already like the week after uh, GCS Summer Finals, which is interesting. Is it for real? It's for real. Nice Stormbolt on the Wisp. Kill Server Coon. Nice bash there on the Dryad. Do we see some more bashes? <laughs> dryad can be micro here, but I guess Bo doesn't want to micro his Dryad. Instead, just regenerates it. What, uh, what do we see here? Fairy Dragons. Oh, of course, you don't need the Hippo here because there's no Zeppelin on this map. Mountain King kills a Wisp. You can always solve out, by the way, if he's uh, in danger. Dark Ranger is finally level 5. I want to see level 6 Dark Ranger. Uh, did she pick level 3 Silence? Yes, she did. Panda is still only level 2, though. He needs level 3 Panda. So, so important. Nice storm with on another Wisp. This Mountain King. I want to see level 6 Mountain King as well. He's already at level 5.5. Meanwhile, the Archman is creeping, by the way. He's level 2 right now. He will probably be level 3 after... after well... Yeah, he will... Probably be level 3 after keeping this. Mount King killing some more wisps. He's out of mana now. Worker 3 survives. Yeah, I mean, it has always uh, survived or been doing pretty well in uh, China. Skeleton scouting. Some more XP given here to uh, to human. So, so the Mount King can get to that level 6. I guess uh, Bo also wants to see the level 6 Mount King. Yeah, they made it so all the magic immune units, they can be healed. Same with uh, Spellbreakers, of course. 1-0 one, Spellbreakers. 0-1 Bears. Militia. 
Once you go militia, we have a bunch of upgrades here for Yumiko. So uh, what creeps are left on the map? I think we have uh, one first world trapper here. We have uh, this creep camp. And that's it. Uh, that's not enough for the panda to get level 3. Panda is just barely level 2. So I guess he has to fight with level 2 panda. The Archmage a love tower, skull of protection, skull of healing. So both the heroes here do your skulls of healing over here. Only one. Uh, Stormbolt would bear dead. Like anything that gets Stormbolt is just dead. Okay, staff saves the bear, but sure, the, the bear is at least mentally dead. I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure he's, he's depressed sitting at home. Doesn't think he can win this war anymore. Uh, one bear dying over there. Where is the next Stormbolt? There it is on this panda. This panda bear has a bit more hit points than normal bear. The TP out here, there's just not enough bears by the way. Uh, 68 supply only for a bow. Was it 72 maybe? Like he lost a bear. Uh, he killed a footman I think. Footman. Anyone used any healing scrolls? Okay, here donate a bear. Free bear for you. I told you, I told you the bear was depressed and just wanted to die. You guys didn't listen to me. You were like, no, that bear, bear will be fine. He will go to a psychiatrist. He will be happy. No, the bear, he was fucked, man. After he got storm bolted, his life was over. Oh no. I'm back here, 70 supply. He has 02 upgrades. And we have 1-1. The Hunter King, I guess he's just too strong. Maybe you see some nice silence, by the way. Silence. Okay, there's a silence. Did he not silence last fight, by the way? He did hit the priest, so the priest cannot dispel the silence either. Uh, but the sorceresses didn't get silenced. The panda still level 2. He's out of mana. This water elemental needs to be dispelled. The dryads, they don't have dispel anymore for the water elementals. Okay, so uh, the towers are getting up here. I don't, like I say, I don't see Bo winning this. Oh, we have Avatar. That's what I heard, of course. But the Avatar. Is he strong enough to fight against bears? Oh, we have militia coming in as well. Avatar, even the Avatar not strong against bears. You think a level six mountain king is strong, but not if he's dead, because bears are still stronger than the mountain king. Never underestimate bears. He did kill the panda though. Uh, level six, level six, get mana. Oh, he doesn't have a shop over here. Where is his shop? He should have walked his shop over to his expansion, I believe, because. Uh, what is gonna do in his main base or build a second one? That's fine as well. Uh, because, well, even if he had charm at this point, I don't think it would have mattered much. But Demon Hunter level 6 would have mattered. Imagine if he had a Demon Hunter. Of course, uh, Dark Ranger is better in different situations than the Demon Hunter, but. Oh well, this is GG right now. For Cosmodan! Fights would be useless without rejuvenation, as it takes a lot of moon juice to heal it because of use mana pool. That, yeah, but I mean, that's. Flame Caster. Flame is creeped over here. Uh, it's going for the expansion, of course. What item did he get? Okay, actually, I'll take that back. He doesn't go for the expansion yet because. because of what? What happened here? Why did he not finish the creeps? I mean, the, the demon hunter was still very far away. I don't know. Is this like a strategy? To just kill like some of the creeps, leave the others alive? Just now realized there's a dragon uh, body over here. Is that from uh, the family of this drake? It's probably family. Maybe it's his mom. This dragon looks even bigger than this one. Anyway, the demon hunter. Uh, Yumiko goes back, tries to finish those creeps, but the demon hunter. Oh, can he just surround the demon hunter? No, the the. Yes, yes, no. Cannot get this. Well, he got the surround, I think, but he didn't uh, want to finish the demon hunter off there. Uh, maybe he thought he was going to lose too much. We did have an archer here and a first soul shadow priest. Now he's hunting down the Demon Hunter with the Archmage. The Demon Hunter is level 2, the Archmage is still level 1. What item is he gonna get over here? Ring of Protection plus 3, the worst item in the game. Oh, there's an Archer hiding over here as well. Now the Demon Hunter with the Immolation, by the way. And a Clause of Attack. Killing one peasant, killing the Water Elemental. Demon Hunter getting a lot of XP. These two peasants so low on hit points as well. And what is he doing over here? He killed that Archer. Okay, he kills the Archer, goes for the Berserker as well. These two peasants are dead, the Demon Hunter... 
is walking around. Archer died there. Actually, uh, I know you guys were asking for it, but my mom made this uh, vegetable shake for me. And I think it's not, I mean, my stomach kind of hurts a little bit. So maybe we get that, uh, we get this chart anyway for free. I think some of those vegetables in that shake are probably uh, no longer, no longer, uh, now we're rotting a little bit. This archer will survive. Do we have dust here? We don't have dust. This fourth soul shadow priest is my code back. Archer is being my code as well. Uh, the peasants, of course, are building this expansion here. Demon Hunter buys the boots. The Archmage does not have boots, so the, the Demon Hunter can hunt down the Archmage. This Archer survives with like three hit points. The Footman over here killing, uh, trying to kill some units over here. Demon Hunter just hunting down the Archmage. With the boots, can the Archmage do something? He might have to TP out. Okay, now he blocks in the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter, can he get out of here? This peasant blocking over here builds a farm, but it's not good enough. He didn't block it off completely. Demon, oh, the Archmage in trouble here. He's probably gonna run as far as possible and then TP home. And then maybe run into the other uh, shop and buy the boots. Or maybe just hide in his base. Pretty good start, I wanted to say, for uh, Bo so far. He killed a lot of peasants. Look at, he's behind, he's ahead in XP. He, uh, of course, the TP. It's going pretty well. Pretty well here for, uh, for Bo. But it's it's not like overwhelming advantage here for Bo. It's just going slightly above average, you know. If they were like even uh, in skill level, I want to say like 51% chance now to win for Bo and like 49 for Yumiko. But considering that Yumiko is probably better than Bo, that's a pretty good start. Bo. There's uh, Demon Hunter killing some peasants, killing some units. He's getting his man a mana stolen by this uh, Arcane Tower, of course. Heat backed. Or, like, how do you call it? The, the mana is being drained. Is that the correct word? Being destroyed. His mana is being destroyed, being drained. Don't have mana. That's what I'm trying to say. The mana doesn't have mana either. So, the first tool, Shadow Priest, is the next in line. And Yumiko with the beautiful. Uh, uh, awareness, mana awareness of of bow goes for the uh, shadow priest. First of shadow priest. Demon hunter was surrounded by the way. I had to TP out. Archmage flung some fireballs at the archer. The arcane tower went down. Uh, about what? One footman and two peasants went down there. He's gonna rebuild the arcane tower. The archmage is back to decent hit points. So some scrolls of regeneration. When is Bo gonna counter expand? I think it's about time. It's about time. Because he's waiting for uh, bears anyway, for that bears to heal his demon hunter back up, or is he just gonna do it with moonballs? He did make it fake dark. Fake dark right now. Panda's creeping. Might as well want to creep your panda to level three. Oh, we have so many footmen by the way. We have a lot of footmen. So that means that the footmen are gonna kill some wisps. Level 3 Archmage, we have 4 8 footmen. A scroll of healing as well. And a boots on the Archmage, by the way. Give me go. I wanna do so much damage with those footmen. I can see it happening already. Don't have the bears out yet. Uh, nice sentry ward here by uh, Yumiko. Nice breath of fire there as well. By bow, but we still have the healing scroll. So after a few more breaths of fire, so maybe one more, you will use that healing scroll. Meanwhile, the demons are still so low. Where is that bear? Here they are. Are they adept already? They are adept. So they can heal the the demon hunter. There's the rejuvenation. And the ancient war is in danger. Poor ancient war. 
Ancient War is of course a uh, sentient living being tree. So seeing the Ancient War die, it's, it's very sad. Uh, gets a water elemental but loses an archer. The demon hunter with emulation, level 1 emulation has a 1 1 1 build. This archer goes down as well. These footmen, some of them are pretty low on hit points. He did use the healing scroll already. This uh, berserker is, is fine. He's fine. Post berserker. Do we have an expansion yet? Still no expansion here for Bo. He has another bear here in his base. Is he gonna try to break this expansion somehow with bears? Or maybe the main? Only two towers in the main. Because how else do you plan to win? You either plan to kill, to break either the main or the expansion, or you have to build your own expansion as uh, as the Knight of Player in this situation. Or maybe creep to level six heroes. <laughs> We've seen sometimes the Panda and the Demon Hunter win the game by themselves. Against two base human. But it's very rare. Here is the Rifleman upgrade, so it's not going Mortar Teams, I believe. It's usually either Rifleman or Mortar Teams. It's usually not both. Might add Mortar Teams later in the game, but for now it's going Rifleman. Uh, we see the Panda. Laws of Deck, and he's going Healing Wards. Bears. I'm not really sure. This is something I don't know yet. Uh, something I don't understand yet completely. When, to, when uh, humans have to go for a rifleman and when they go for uh, a workshop with mortar teams, why does he go for a rifleman this game? It's not like they're fairy dragons or something, so that is not uh, that's not affecting his decision making. You know, that would make sense. Like, if Night Elf goes for fairy dragons, maybe you had rifleman and else you go for mortar teams. Why is he going for a rifleman this game? Mortar teams, other games. Demon Hunter pretty strong here, plus 27 damage. This of course with the roar. Five bears. He's killing these these farms very easily. He might actually be able to kill the tunnel, although two masonry upgrades. It's pretty strong. Uh oh, we have Alchemist second! Alchemist second hype! That's amazing. Interesting that we see an Alchemist second in a professional game. We've only seen it in professional games, I believe, uh, Alchemist third for Orc against either Human or Undead. But now we see an Alchemist second here for Human against uh, against Night Elf. Use the Chemical Rage and the Chemical uh, the Acid Bomb. A bunch of Alchemists, there, there's more than one in fact, there are four. He has Mirror Image as well. Who knew that the Alchemist was so similar to the Blade Master? Not only does he have a lot of DPS, and uh, high movement speed. He also has mirror image. Alchemist is only level two. He's killing bears, killing bears like no problem. And a lot of militia dying here. You couldn't hear the hear the cries. Oh, oh. but the human guy has a retreat here. Of course, bears are too strong. Even though the alchemist is very strong as well. The panda is now level four. He kills a bunch of peasants. The demons are very close to level four. Uh, Archimedes is almost level 4. It's all about the Alchemist, by the way. No items really here for a human. For a human has a boost of speed on the Alchemist. And uh, staff on the Archimedes, but that's it. While here on the Demon Hunter, we have a shit ton of nice items. Plus 17 damage without the roar. And it gives the clarity to the Panda. Look at Bo's APM. It's uh, 300 now. Epa. 290 now. Yuko, Yumiko is 373. Oh, look at how big this Archmage is. That's pretty scary. That is scary, man. I'm gonna buy some items. Because he has uh, the Bloodless, he walks very fast, of course. And then he can staff back to the army. This expansion will survive for now. With the two masonry upgrades, it's just never going down. Seven armor, 30%. The Demon Hunter loses all the mana to the Arcane Tower. I'm not sure uh, if Bo should be doing... I mean... What else he's gonna do? He's not building an expansion. Right? No expansion play here for Bo. He just... Okay, well... 
Well, let's see how it goes. The alchemist is killing this bear. Easy peasy. Do we have staff? We don't have staff. But three bears are about to die here. Look at three of these bears. One dies. Uh, these two bears both very low. The demon hunter also very low. Don't we have staff? We don't have staffs here for night elf. Two more bears die. Those three bears. It's, uh, he didn't even have a healing scroll. Bo is just throwing away the game here, I feel like. Because... He could have uh, saved some of those bears easily because he could have even micro them back. There goes a bear, but the night players, they don't like the micro bears unless they have staff. Uh, Archmage does go down here, so I guess it's not that bad here for Bo after all. Uh, can he save the Archmage somehow? No. Uh, Demon Hunter didn't die, right? No, Demon Hunter survived with a few hit points. Spellbreaker does go down. 0 1 no upgrades here for Spellbreaker. 1 0 upgrades for the Dryads and Bears. I guess Bo, as long as he keeps winning fights, it doesn't matter that he doesn't have expansion, right? This is one uh, one of the ways I didn't mention earlier. This is one of the ways to win the game as well. If your opponent has expansion and you don't, just keep fighting and just keep winning fights. Right? So, as long as you keep winning fights a little bit at a time, uh, then you, uh, the, the advantage of the extra income, you might compensate for it by winning every fight. But it's, well, the moment you lose one fight, you lose the game. The moment you don't win a fight, the moment the fight is kind of equal, 50-50, you lose the game. As you can see, Bo is at 52 spy, you will go at 57, even though so far every every fight was won by Bo. But Bo has their stronger heroes, of course, because of that. Level 5 panda, level 4 demon hunter. Alchemist level 3 and the uh, Archmage level 4. Hello beautiful people. Hello brain fuck. Welcome back to the stream. The demon there, uh, well there's no Archmage yet. Oh wonder I does fall. Only one bear? Is this the only bear? What happened to all the other bears? He had six, six bears earlier. Of course he lost like four of them. But uh, he should be rebuilding bears maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't think uh, Bo can win this game anymore. He cannot win this fight. He doesn't have enough bears. And if he cannot win this fight, he won't be able to win the next fight because uh, Yumiko has doubled the income. So this army will grow much more rapidly than Bo's army. Innovation on the Demon Hunter. The Panda. Uh, maybe the Panda can still do something here. We do have a level 5 Panda. It's a very strong Panda. Nice mana burn there on the Alchemist. Alchemist has their ring protection, so he has five, four armor. Does a lot of damage as well. One bear went down. Of course, he also used the Ace, it, I believe. I'm not sure if he used it, but... Now he uses Chemical Rage. No, actually it was Mana Bird, right? So I guess he didn't have mana. There's a beautiful Breath of Fire, but it's not enough. The Spellbreakers don't even take damage. Okay, TP's out here. TP out here by Yumiko. And heal up. The Scroll of Regeneration. Uh, Alchemist level 4, Archmage almost level 5, and if he gets Blizzard, of course. I'm not sure if Yumiko is a Blizzard type of player. But I believe if he gets Blizzard, it doesn't even matter how many bears there are. This is just too difficult for Bo. I believe I believe he should have gone for the expansion. Should have gone for the expansion. Or maybe some more all uh, an, more all in play on one of these uh, bases would have been fine as well. But this uh, he was playing too safe to be to play all in. But he wasn't either uh, getting expansion either. So I don't yeah didn't like the way he played this too much. Like for example, if he got like uh, like what AP, if he went for an AP rush or something, that would have been nice. AP APs. Could have easily built some APs here, right? That would have been nice, maybe. He had sex bears. I don't know. If, if that has some hidden meaning, I don't even know what it is. We have a rune braces here on the alchemist. Um, very useless. So he's going to sell it. And maybe buy info potion and healing scroll. And Oh, there's no healing scrolls there available anymore. Has one. He has a healing scroll on both his heroes. No TP though. Picks a tome of strength up. Hunter close to level five. Panda is still pretty far from level six. He needs about two hundred sixty-five XP. Show Moon. Uh, Moon is in the round of sixteen. So once we go to the round of sixteen, we'll have Moon. 
But he's not in a round of 48. Well, Bo, I mean, he's not out of it yet. He did uh, creep his expansion. He's not building an expansion. Okay, maybe he's waiting. Oh, he's waiting for his main to be out of gold. Okay, okay. I didn't think about that. Which means that Yumiko's main will be out of gold as well. And uh, which means that Bo is actually only a little bit behind. After the main run out of gold, uh, you, uh, Bo gets a free expansion. And as you can see at the supply, he's only nine supply behind right now. And he has the stronger level heroes, but look at these water elementals. The Archmage is level 5. These water elementals are so scary. Uh, with the Scroll of the Beast, or well, no, what's the Scroll of the Beast? No, I, I think he just stole that uh, roar. Uh, the water elemental plus 11 damage. The uh, panda has to retreat here. This bears. But this bear is going to die. One bear goes down. Do we have healing scrolls here for Night Elf? Don't think so. Uses uh, Breath of Fire. I think, uh, yeah, we still have one healing scroll here for uh, for Yumiko. He uses it and he wins this game. Alchemist hunting down the panda, no. The demon hunter goes down. Alchemist hunting down the panda now. Alchemist versus panda, who wins this fight? It's GG, we never know, we'll never know. Um, Let me overlay, it's a best of three. I think it's the first game. Uh, between safe and so we, of course, uh, safe lost to elegant, right? No, wait, yeah, I think he lost to elegant two to one. We missed the first game, so uh, we only saw one one. Uh, but since it was over after that, I assume elegant won two to one. Over safe. Um, yeah. Mazuru, the blade master. We have Tor rune totem. Anything else here for Serene? Serene uh, did just win against Passion. Also 2-1 two to I believe. Some Grunts are pretty long hit points. Grunts are... Oh, he can hunt down the Grunts with all these piggies, with all these Demon Hunters. Look at this Demon Hunter. Two Gauntlet for Ogre Strength. Uh, I'd like him better on the Beastmaster though. Just this 6 extra damage does matter a lot. It matters so much in this matchup. Because... Uh, no, it's like what six he, on average does like almost 30 damage so six six is like 20 percent so it's like plus 20 percent damage and in this matchup uh the night elf does all his damage with his heroes so instead of having your demon hunter a bit tankier i like that extra damage on the beastmaster he doesn't get any of the grunts uh because of good micro there of course by suin doesn't get the piggy either or did he get the piggy I'm not sure if he got the piggy or if uh, the piggy died to the creeps. Piggy's gone. We have a piggy hiding here in the, in the trees there. But he comes out. He comes out of the trees. The demon hunter has boots by the way. Oh, is he gonna get surrounded? So we, of course, surrounds the demon hunter. What am I saying? He has a TP now. He shouldn't even have been here anymore. I've been there. Uh, there's the adapt on the spirit lords on the for the spirit walkers. There's more raiders. There's a piggy. Hello, I'm a piggy. Oink, oink, oink. There goes the piggy. Poof. Gone. And a piggy over here now. Fighting against the baby murlocs. Poor baby murlocs. Tiny fin. Tiny fin baby murlocs. They die. Panel of health. Yeah, pick that up with the demon hunter. Now he's panel of health. Give these circles, please. Uh, no, not the circles. The contest to the BM, please. That's six damage. Is so much damage that you're just missing out on. Just to get some extra hit points on the demon hunter. Well, nice uh, mana burn there on the illusion. I mean, oftentimes the demon hunter, beastmaster. It's not even like the demon hunter's uh, focused. First, always. Sometimes the beast master is focused first anyway. Okay. Do we have a fight here? We have uh, Master Juice of Talent being uh, being upgraded. The piggy can, again, a piggy goes and uh, falls to the hands of the orc. Of course, uh, orc, orcs, they eat piggies. It's like their main, uh, their main, how do you so, source of protein. So they know exactly how to kill the piggies and eat them. 
And that's why Piggies, I guess, is not that good against Orc. He saved the Tinker there with a staff. Raiders are in good position. The Demon Hunter is in fighting by himself over here. Can the Raiders win this fight with the Tinker and the Beastmaster there? Maybe. Maybe they killed two dudes of the Talon. Easy peasy. What's the Demon Hunter doing? Demon Hunter surrounded. He's going to die. Uh, he might kill the Spirit Walker with a mana burn. No, he didn't have enough mana. Or he doesn't have enough mana. GG. So we wins game one against save. Okay, we didn't miss anything really. Uh, oh, wait, what? What is this angel we're doing here? It is eating trees. I mean, I see that, but... Uh, wait, is it? Wait, what? This is elegant. Okay. I, maybe there was already the last game of Serene versus Safe. So uh, we have Elegant against Serene. Which should be 0 0. There it is. Elegant versus Serene. And we have an Ancient War just going for the Altar of Storms. We have a Demon Hunter going for the shop. This shop is not done yet. Even though it looks like it's done. Meanwhile, the Blade Master going for the Ancient of War here in the back of the base. This, uh, this shop is done, but it's being repaired by four peons. And we have a peon in the burrow as well, throwing little spears at the demon hunter. The, the grunt here trying to kill the demon hunter as well. But the demon hunter retreats to his best buddy, Ancient of War. This Ancient of War was cancelled. We have another one building over here. It's going to be cancelled as well. The Blade Master uses his sword against it. I don't know how you would like cut something like this apart, but the demon hunter, the Blade Master knows he just uses his sword to grunt. Oh, it didn't get cancelled. It was actually just destroyed. This one is also going to be destroyed or cancelled or something. And uh, a TP home here by the Demon Hunter. This got cancelled. And I guess this was the right choice by Serene here to just do a counter attack. Sees that Angel of War in his base. Instead of trying to defend his base, he just goes straight to the Knight of Base. And here the Demon Hunter just slashing apart the Blade Master. Blade Master versus the Demon Hunter. Look at this fight. Well, we have a Grunt here as well, helping the Blade Master. It's not really fair. It's two against one. Two Orcs against one Elf. Demon Hunter uh, has Moon Juice. That's not fair either. So he can also heal himself. So maybe it is fair. Blade Master doing um, some damage against the Tree of Life. Oh, he uses the Windwalk to get out of there safely and goes for this Moon Wall with his help. His buddies, three Grunts right now. Against one Moonwall. This Moonwall is going to be cancelled. This other one as well, of course. Uh, there's the cancel. This one is going to be cancelled as well. There it is. Or was that killed even? I wonder if the animation is different. I still don't know. I still haven't tested that out yet. Uh, the Grunts. Go for the Wisps. There, he gets one Wisp. Cannot get any of the other ones. The Blade Master buys the Staff of TP. Staff's home. Heals up. Ace of War is just sitting over here. By the way, Elegant has been doing some weird strategies. Um, in Hall's Cup, against Focus, he played without Ancient of War. He just went Demon Hunter to fast, triple Ancient of Wind. Uh, never got a second hero, just solo Demon Hunter match to do some of that. And of course he lost. This game, aggressive Ancient of War. Apparently also uh, not doing so great. So these weird strategies by Elegant, not doing so great. Do we have piggies? There's a piggy, but there are four grunts here. Four grunts is a lot of grunts for a piggy to uh, handle. Ace of War just killing this, uh, this uh, altar. Altar is being repaired, of course, by the peon. Okay, well, Ancient of War. We do have a defensive Ancient of War up right now. Ancient of Wind going up here in the back. He might be able to cancel it. He could, maybe. But this grunt, this grunt is in danger. The piggy and the beastmaster and the demon hunter just go for this grunt. We don't have boots here, for either uh, any of the heroes really. Another piggy, two piggies now. Two piggy, piggies is, is quite a lot of piggies. It's uh, the demon hunter fighting against the blade master still. Uh, sure. sure, nice fight. Okay, the grunt, no, what was he going for? The demon hunter, pretty low. But there's enough hit points. We don't have a second hero yet for uh, for Serene, and of course his tech was quite delayed. He went for a uh, slow tech. This uh, grunt got healed up. 
think some of those get cancelled. This other gun survives with three piggies. It's just too much piggies for these guns to handle. I know they eat piggies for breakfast, but they don't eat three piggies at the same time. Only Kodos can eat that many piggies uh, in one day, of course. Uh, still, the Kodo eats like one for one for breakfast, one for lunch, and one for dinner. Uh, meanwhile, the, the altar is still up. Double bestiary barracks. What? Tries to win the game early. Uh, the grunt here is being focused. I, I wonder if you go double bestiary. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, uh, we've seen this play. It was uh, Lin actually popularized this for a while against Druids of the Talon. Just go double bestiary uh, mass raiders. And then later at, at the uh, Spirit Lodge. And then you try to do a lot of damage with the early raiders. Maybe even get pillaged. Try to kill some uh, moogles. And then later you switch to... Uh... Oh, th why didn't you cancel the healing self? Uh, later you switch to uh, Drizzle, uh, Spirit Lodge. It does get a uh, grunt there. But uh, it uh, lost popularity because I believe the Night Elf players were able to handle it. After they learned how to play against it, they were able to handle it pretty uh, easily. And if, if the Raiders don't do any damage, it's of course inferior to the Spirit Lodge play. In fact, if you don't do any damage, you're just going to lose the game. It does get that one Druid of the Talon, so that's nice. Let's say Grunts cost 1 gold, 0 0.1 food. How would you balance the Orc other base matchups? Well, I I make Footmen and Archers and... Uh, tools or fiends, one gold as well, and zero point bomb food. That's how I would balance it. Anyway, here we have an attack. Here, do we have pill? Uh, we do have pillage, just as I was saying. Uh, there goes that ancient of war, of course. And this grunt is pretty low on hit points. We have the druids of the Talon defending here. We have the demon hunter hiding behind the tree of, of ages and eternity. In fact, uh, tree of eternity is almost done upgrading with repairing this move well. And the Demon Hunter defense just fine. This uh, this move won't go down. I'm pretty sure it won't. Okay, it will go down. Well, will it go down? It might go down. It, it will go down, but he's going to lose a Raider for it. Is he going? He's not going to lose a Raider for it, is what I meant to say. So I was right all along. So we uh, placed a Sentry Ward over here. I'm not sure if he heard about it because... Oh no, he doesn't have a shop. He's building Ancient Wonders right now, right over here. And... Um, Oh, what is this? Is it also an Ancient of Wonders? Yes, but it's gonna be cancelled. He has another one already building in his base anyway. He does need that orb. He needs that orb on the Demon Hunter. Third hero would be nice. He does have mask. No mask yet. The Blade Master! The Blade Master went down! And suddenly... I'm not sure if it was worth it for Sawini anymore. Loses Grunt as well. He has some heal units healing in the background. This Ancient of War is still standing here. <laughs> He can easily kill it and get a lot of money because of pillage. Entire game, that thing has been standing here, whacking away at his altar. While uh, Sawin has had the peon repairing it all day, all game long. And Sawin losing quite a lot of money because of that. Or a little bit of money. Master is done. Uh, shop is done. Gonna buy the items. I want to know exactly how much money is he losing. Let's see, so we... A player's force is loses, it loses like two gold every three seconds or so. One, two, no, one, two, three. Oh, every second, I think he loses like two gold on the repair. But uh, earlier it was probably less. Like now he's just repairing with one gold, uh, one peon. So now he loses like one gold a second, but he also is not mining lumber with his peon. Remember that as well. So uh, a gold per second is like 60 gold a minute. I mean, it's not that much, but considering that uh, Night Elf, that Elegant had to build that Ancient War early and lost a lot of. Uh, Wisp and other stuff in his main base because of it. Forty-six supplier for Serene, but no spirit lodge yet, right? Oh, we do have a spirit lodge. Do we have spirit walkers out though? 
Oh, there goes his shop. Uproot, uproot, uproot. Where was uproot? Way too late. He should have uprooted actually maybe the moment he saw the raiders going to his base. A long time ago. Oh, he does find this uh, little little sentry ward now with the birdie. Meanwhile, you know, the blade master is just flying, just being a cyclone. That's what he likes to do best. 49 supply for Serene, 43 here for uh, Elegant. But without the spirit walkers, with just mass raiders, it's just... You don't stand a chance as Orc. Because, uh, well, we see a nice shockwave, but uh, TC has to TP here, by the way. He has to TP. When are you going to TP? He's not going to TP, okay. So, without any spirit walkers at all, the Dunes of the Tainland can just fr freely even um, cyclone the raiders. And normally, you don't see, really see them cyclone the raiders because, you know, they cost, they cost a lot of mana. And then, if the orc can just mass dispel that, it's just, uh, yeah, it's not very good for Night Elf. But if there's literally no spirit walkers, yeah, then you can cyclone the raiders. You know, there's no dispel. And it's an easy win there for Night Elf. But now there's uh, one Spirit Walker. He doesn't even have a depth yet. We're getting a depth. And he's going, is he going for the base? Uproot, 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 please uproot. Okay, it's too late now. There goes that uh, Ancient. And oh, Keeper third. Okay, so he uh, sees this hit and run play style. It's like, okay, I'll just get a keeper third. So we just went over 50. 50 to supply for Serene. 46 here for the other player. Okay, it kills two units maybe. Spirit Walker might survive there by uh, running to the, the golems. Because the uh, dudes of Talon, of course, they cannot really... Uh, a nice dispel there. The uh, dudes of the Talon cannot really hunt down that Spirit Walker, but... Spirit Walker is kind of hiding there for a while. Finds another Sentry Ward. We have level 3 Demon Hunter, level 2 Beastmaster. Look at this uh, Demon Hunter, by the way. Plus, six, uh, plus 8 Agility. Pretty strong Demon Hunter. Beastmaster needs to be level 3 before he gets level 2 Piggies, but he's pretty close. Larodar. Oh, he finally kills that uh, Angel of War, but this does give a, an opportunity here for Night Elf for Elegant to position exactly where he wants to be, whether he wants to fight or whether he wants to kill Burrows or both or neither. Uh, there's a nice ins uh, entangle here or ensnare, uh, no, how do you call it? Entangle on the Raider. The Raider is going to die. Remember, there's no Tinker. So if so, he somehow managed to, uh, oh, manages to get a nice fighting army, uh, he might still get have a chance somehow, but I'm not sure if he will ever get equal fighting army. The Demon Hunter just killing this Raider. Okay, the keeper TPs out, interestingly enough. Kills uh, your radar over there. 55 supply here for Serene, 43 only for Elegant. So actually, I guess Elegant still. <coughs> Serene still has a chance. Let's see what died over here. We see two dudes of the Talon bodies. We see a radar, two radar bodies. And TP, of course, for Night Elf as well. Radar almost survived. Uh, did survive, I mean. Heroes are still level 2. I guess if he gets uh, level 3 heroes, so he still has a chance. I mean, he still has a chance now, but he's, he's tw in fact, he's 12 supply up. But if he gets a level 3 heroes, he uh, he might have the advantage again. Right now, oh, there's a 14 supply difference. I'm not even sure who has the advantage right now. How many spirit walkers do we have? We have four spirit walkers, that's enough really ready. But yeah, I do think so we managed to uh to just find Beastmaster very close to level three. Does he have a DP? If he does have a DP, he could maybe just uh, hunt some burrows, get level three in the Beastmaster. Oh, what did I just do? Let's see what item he gets over here, and he will get a level three blade master. I could have cunning, that's one of the worst ones. That's actually the not no, there's three items worse. Of course, the Django is worse because oh, I'm TP right in the in the army here. Kills a burrow, TP's out. Beastmaster is level three now, I assume. Yeah, kills uh, one dude with the Talon, but he lost a burrow. And the shop, yeah, lost the shop as well. Rebuilding the shop. So as I was saying, um, the Medallion of Courage is worse, the Crystal Ball is worse, and the Django of Endurance is worse. All the items are better than this Hoot of Cunning. 
it's kind of like you don't really need like demon hunter no blade master blade master and the demon hunter are like uh pretty much the only two heroes in the in the game where you don't want extra intelligence and Int extra intelligence is kind of useless you want the extra agility and strength agility first strength second well, on the TC, you could also give this item to the TC, but the TC doesn't need the agility. There's a nice mana burn on TC, so uh, no shockwaves. 45 against 58, nice, uh, some nice cyclones here. Uh, piggies, all oh, the two piggies were standing next to each other, so both cats dispelled. Int is useless, <laughs> or yeah, exactly. Intelligence is useless, unless you go to school. This Druid of the Talon wasn't Michael, but now it's in snares, it cannot be Michael. These Druid, the radius is pretty low. Do we have a healing scroll? Beautiful healing scroll there, but that's his last healing scroll. Do we have a healing scroll for the, the uh, other player? For Elegant, no healing scrolls here. 61 against 39 supply, does look pretty good here for uh, Serene. Kills the Drager, use the info potion there on the, on the Keeper. These two guys are very low in hit points. Can he kill them? The keeper uh, will fall. This cow is still alive. One dies, two dies. This this other one is going to die maybe. Um, the keeper died, but supply the supply difference has been uh, lessened, smallened, has become smaller somehow. These piggies, of course, he has level two piggies. That matters a lot. Uh, especially if not enough dispel, this guy dies as well. This uh, birdie will survive. The piggy's now against the blade master. Who wins that fight? Well, the blade master just goes flying. Oh, of course, we're watching Sowin. I hate Sowin, man. No, I don't hate him, but I mean, <laughs> why does he never pick level two critical strike against Night Elf? That's such a mistake, I feel like. And he just makes it every game. It's just, he thinks, I don't know what he thinks, but maybe I should uh, go to his, to his channel sometime when he's streaming and tell him. Tell him about his mistake that he makes every game. I mean, he's not. He has. He still even has over 210 mana. He could use like three wind walks. And, um, you know, use that extra damage, but it's just not even good enough to wind walk during a fight for the extra damage, so. Damn. Why get level 2 Windwalk if you're never gonna use it? I understand why you never use it. And why pick it? Anyway, we have some more creeping going on over here. Did he creep this? Sure, I don't think so. He's gonna creep this. A nice item would be nice. Keeper, where's the Keeper? Is the, is the Keeper still dead? Keeper is being resummoned. Level 2 Keeper, of course. We'll be back in a little bit. Uh, let's see what item he gets over here. Birdie really scouts it. Um, much better item. Legion Doomhorn. Mm. It's definitely one of the better items, but um, movement speed isn't that relevant if you're not uh, sure if he's going to do more hit and runs. At this point, I'm wondering if he's going to do more hit and runs. Tone of intelligence is nice. And the regeneration is uh, is oh, the re regeneration is of course very nice for orc with the spirit link. Definitely one of the better items. It's probably one of the worst I uh, auras. You'd rather have the plus ten percent damage, the warsong battle doom auras, or the Kedgar's pipe even. Maybe uh, I wonder if claws of attack would be better than legion doomhorn. I'm not sure. Look at them zoomies over the map now, so fast. Zoomies? What are zoomies? Are those the raiders? Uh, oh, the keeper in a very bad position. Does he have an info potion? He does give the info potion to the keeper, but the keeper actually just moves out. He's not in a bad position at all. Um, we have this fight here, 58 against 49. There's only nine supply advantage for Serene, but remember there's no Tinker, which is uh, makes the Knight of Army so much weaker. The keeper just doesn't do much in the fight. I think if uh, Elegant is gonna lose this game, it's oh the keeper dies. It is because of picking the keeper. He picked the keeper because uh, Sowin was doing that hit and run style play. But I would have rather just seen him uh, just handle that with Cyclone and just gone for the Tinker third anyway. Because now that uh, Sowin is stopping, stopped doing that hit and run style and is actually just fighting, the keeper is just so useless compared to the Tinker. 
Tinker would have done so much more. Tinker is insanely good. Keeper is uh, so so. This is our good for abuse and big map. Well, it's a pretty small map though. But uh, yeah, it is very good for the hit and run uh, stuff. Look how look how fast the raiders walk. They have uh, what is it? Level two aura. So this 20% movement speed buff, and then I get another 10% movement speed buff from the Unholy Aura. So 30% movement speed. I'm pretty sure Raiders, yeah, they have the max movement speed now, if they are in range of the TC. 400 movement speed. Yeah, I'm not even sure if the Unholy Aura, he's, he sold it. So he's not planning to do much uh, hit and run with it. I'm not even sure if... Uh, 20% movement speed on radius is probably already enough to hit the cap. What is it? 20, 20 times 3 is already uh, 60. Yeah. I think 20% movement speed is already puts a radius at 400 movement speed, which is the cap, the max movement speed of the game. Max movement speed is 522. You sure? Or are you just talking about the Blade Master? Because I only know the Blade Master can go. Uh, always. Thought 400 was a max. I'm pretty sure 400 is a max. Only like the bait match can go. Oh, the Beastmaster has to use a healing potion. He's pretty low. The Keeper's back, by the way. The Demon Hunter fighting as well. But meanwhile, the, the Raiders fighting against the Druids of the Tail. And the Beastmaster will survive for now. He also still has TP. He can buy a Zeppelin as well, but we'll never see that. Beastmaster kills this, uh, this Spirit Walker. This Master here in the, in the back. Another Druid of the Tail does go down. Beastmaster in trouble here. Uh, raider here. The Raider could get killed here. He kills the Raider. Uh, 46 against 36, but the Beastmaster... <laughs> Beastmaster is just fine. Uh, Cyclone just uh, keeps his units in the air. In fact, he might be able to kill one of these heroes. Uh, well, because the Raiders are pretty low, the Beastmaster heals up. By the way, where's the tree? Oh, the tree of return to uh, is at expansion. So, so he needs to win this fight. He needs to win the game soon. Because uh, we have a mining base here for Elegant. We don't have a mining base here, of course, for uh, for Orc, for Serene. Doesn't have any income. And is Elegant still gonna win this game? It does look like a 37 against 40. He just, uh, I thought he was gonna lose, but his last fight went Elegant's way. And of course, uh, the Tree of Eternity helping a lot. The Keeper will go down though one more time. Uh, doesn't matter too much, as I was saying earlier. The Keeper hardly even do, does something. It... Uh, in the fights at least. Of course he's good at killing units that run around trying to kill his buildings. But uh, there's not even enough raiders anymore for uh, Sawin to do a hit and run type of play. Uh, he does want to kill one of these heroes though. Mana burn for 22 on the TC. Uh, TC though is... No, it's not killing the TC. I think he could have killed the TC there. Uh, with the uh, Cyclone surround. He can also go for the Blade Master. Blade Master doesn't have mana for a Windwalk. Okay, now the Blade Master is going to die for sure. He will not even kill the Druid of the Talon. Beautiful uh, uh, morph there to the Crow. And there goes the Blade Master and now the TC. Your building is okay, here we have Soween in the gray against uh, Elegant in the yellow. Nom 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 Play faster Demon Hunter Archers and a Wisp And uh, of course we see a Tall Shadow Priest And the Ancient Warriors uprooted First of Shadow Priest of course is still on cooldown Still on cooldown for now Late Master's out. Let's see, did he, uh, he hasn't scouted anything, which means uh, the Grunt will scout it, of course. Late Master gonna buy an item, sell an item. Is he going for this tool or? Oh, he's just, uh, he's probably, what is he doing here? Oh, well, I don't know. Is he just assuming he's at the south? Did he see a wisp? He might have seen a wisp somewhere. The Blade Master does get 48 XP. We have Mogul the Sly. And he kills the Wisp. The Angel War in trouble as well. But the creeps, they stop attacking it. Oh, but there's a Forest of Shadow Priest. 
Archer, is he gonna survive? Is she gonna survive? Archer, drink some moon juice. No, Archer, what are you doing? Elegant. Oh, wow, what the fuck? I've never seen Elegant Michael this poorly. I wonder if he's sick. Maybe he just got sick after last game. Maybe last game was so, so, uh, such a roller coaster that he got uh, motion sickness. And now he lost the Archer to Mogul. Mogul the Sly, not just any Blade Master. No, we lost the archer to Mogul the slide. It's the worst blade master to lose your archer to. Um, tries to block there, but the, for the grunt block in the first little shadow. Priest. Um, I think blade master got the XP there. So, uh, very bad start here for Elegant. But he had a very bad start last game as well. And still won the game in the end. Like, they're almost equal XP. Well, he crept the creep camp. This is how bad of a start it is here for the Demon Hunter. I've never seen a start this bad in the Nidal vs. Orc matchup of uh, of decent Nidal, of course. Of course, sometimes we see some really bad Nidals and they do really bad. But this is de elegant. This is a very good Nidal. He usually doesn't do bad starts like this. This Archer. Is he gonna hide in shadows? Is he gonna drink some moon juice? Oh, we have a Berserker here for Elegant. Can he kill the Grunt? Grunt in trouble, actually. Demon Hunter coming back for the Grunt as well. We have Boots of Speed here on the Demon Hunter. We do have a Speed Call to save this Grunt. Archer just keeps drinking the Moon Juice. It's not fair. The Grunt does not have any Moon Juice to drink. Goes to Blade Master, though. Blade Master! Ping! Circlet of Nobility is what he bought. Demon Hunter is hunting down this Grunt. He also has the Ace of War can, that can block the Grunt now. Blade Master just AFK. Now, why would he do anything? Okay, the Grunt had died, level 2 uh, Demon Hunter. Suddenly I don't want to say anymore that it's a bad start for Night Elf. Because killing that Grunt... Sure, he lost an Archer. Sure, he uh, lost the Forest or Shadow Priest. Killing that Grunt though. I mean, still, still I guess, kind of bad. But not horrible anymore here for the Elegant. And the uh, Demon Hunter just hunting down the Blade Master now. Remember, no boots on the Blade Master, boots on the Demon Hunter. Now he's hunting down the Grunt. What do we see over here on the TC, Spirit Lodge, and uh, Bestiary? Meanwhile, we have Angels of War, Starscream over here, the Archer and the Berserker helping. And the Blade Master. Buying, uh, no, not buying item. He knows exactly what's happening. How does he know? Did he scout it or he just knows? Because uh, that's usually what's happening. The Blade Master will get that uh, level 5 and gets level 2. Beautiful play by here by Suin. Mana bar for 7. Didn't even check the mana out. But there's a Naga for uh, Elegant. And the Demon Blade Master in trouble. Uh, maybe drop the boots here on, on your Demon Hunter. No. Could have dropped the boots, maybe given it to the Naga. But Demon Hunter is still hunting down this Blade Master. And now the Naga is going to come from the other side. What's the Blade Master going to do by staff? By, he could have bought staff to save himself. But now he's in trouble. Now he's going to be hunted down. But this, this does give the TC some time to creep. Okay, actually the Naga is not even going to help the hunt. Naga just starts creeping. Blade Master survives. Okay. Hunter lets him go. You can live. Live, Blade Master. We'll fight another day. I want you to be stronger. He already killed the level 5 now. Level 5 is still alive. A circlet. That's a very nice item. Over here. What item did we get over here? He, he stole the circlet, by the way. Right? He stole the circlet from it over there. It was a very nice circlet as well. Uh, this Angel of War starts getting over here. But of course, so he knows it. Going for the creep jack. This uh, grunt's pretty low, so only a blade master and TC. He never got that second, uh, third grunt, by the way. He lost his, he lost one grunt. That's, uh, by the way, the gloss of haste. All right, yeah, pretty good, really good. In fact, the best item he could have gotten there. Demon hunter and lady dark skill creeping over here. Just beautiful. Tree of Eternity just with the hands up. Some kind of yoga. Does look like he's doing yoga. Just he's in a state of uh, yoga ness. 
become stronger tree of eternity you have to flex flex his uh stretches his trunks they can become bigger and stronger demon hunter already level three here but i don't does he does he scroll the beast pretty good pretty good oh the dude of the tail in trouble oh, the demon hunter in bad position but the naga just moves uh, buy some item maybe healing potion and uh healing potion and the orb of venom that's just beautiful play but not by elegant getting uh, items he needs just before the shop went down so what are the hero levels like because we have a level 3 demon hunter and we have a level 2 naga the blade master still level 2 tc level 2 usually if uh, night elf is ahead in xp that's pretty bad for orc that's pretty good for night elf because usually it's the other way around What's happening happens here? Oh, kills those two trolls. Kills the wish plus ball. What a massacre. What a massacre. A player's forces are under attack. And so in creeps over here of course he needs the levels up uh level ups level up levels up gets a lion horn of stormwind it's all right i mean you might as well keep it he sells it <laughs> you might as well sell it buy a skull of healing an info potion he needs another skull of healing then he can fight anytime uh, is it TC level three? By the way, the blade master I saw was level three. TC is not level three yet. He needs he needs to creep the uh, TC to level three. He needs it. he needs it. The naga already almost level three. I wonder. I wonder. I'm just saying something. Maybe it's strange. I wonder if we ever see naga level three. Just was level two. Cross arrow. No, you don't need it in this matchup. I think like if we were we see some undead versus orc. I wonder if they should ever do that. Just get the Frost Arrow, level uh, 2 Frost Arrow on the Naga. Uh, although we don't see many Nagas against Orc. There go <laughs> he loses the Druid of the Talent to the Creeps. But yeah, with level 2 Frost Arrow, just right click the Blade Master. And he's gonna be uh, doing so much less damage, 50% less damage, and his movement speed as well. So, that's, he, that may be in total is even like, what, 75% damage that he loses? And then with the Curse as well. Be uh, very good but against uh, Night Elf. You you already have the Cyclone, so instead he's gonna pick Ford Lightning level two, so he can kill the Raiders faster. Makes sense. Uh, Thirty nine supply for your for Elegant. Sixty one here for Sowin, and he does have his level three TC with a Sobi mask. Uh, don't think it's the best item though in this matchup. It's not uh, insane because the TC is full mana, and the TC doesn't have much. Re mana regeneration in the first place so if you add 50% it's like 0 times uh, plus 50% is still 0 uh, the shop went down when he supply uh, advantage for Serene Elegant can he still win this fight Elegant of course lost the dude of the tail and to the creeps also he would be only uh, 17 supply be uh, behind and does have a tinker this game no keeper Raiders, one of the Raiders uh, does fall very fast. This Druid of the Talon is still alive. The Blade Master used the Info Potion going for the Naga. Naga uses Healing Scroll, I believe. Still has Healing Potion available. Uh, this can use any time. The Raiders dying so fast. And these, these guys in the back as well. Do we have a Healing Scroll here for Orc? Oh, he forgot to buy the second Healing Scroll. That's why he was so far ahead in supply. Because he didn't buy the second Healing Scroll. But now we see that it's going to cost him. Look at all these units. So low on hit points. The amount are pretty low. But he's... Close to his base. If he can, uh, oh, he's trying to give the TP to the demon hunter. Gives the TP to the demon hunter, and this means that the orc can heal up. Uh, so we can heal up, but he's only six supply be ahead right now. He started the fight being like sixteen supply ahead, so he lost like ten supply more than the knight of the. In fact, what did knight of lose here? One druid of the talon, two druids of the talon. And what did orc lose? One, two, three, four, five raiders and a grunt. That's uh, pretty uh, disgusting. And that was when the orc had 16 supply advantage. So, so we, oh, he kills his own dude of then.
going uh guess he missed Michael there I guess he did something wrong there how can you lose that one-sidedly when you have 16 supply advantage healing on the demon hunter he also has a tp i'm not sure i don't know if i liked it killing his own dude with the tail in there because he's not a 50 supply yet he could have just moved it somewhere safe let it uh, regenerate a little bit if he didn't want to bring him uh with him anyway going for the naga again that's what he did try last time that didn't work it gives a tp to the naga yeah not tp on the naga yeah crit could kill the naga very risky late uh, TP, although, so, okay, well, of course Serene is losing this game because he didn't pick level 2 critical strike. That's why he was losing so many of these battles. That's why he lost this battle over here. That's why he didn't kill the Naga, even though uh, Elegant was TPing very late. Very risky play there by Elegant. He could have lost the game there. Uh, but I guess he couldn't because of that level 1 crit. If that was level 2 critical strike, this game would be completely different. 48 supply here for Elegant. 54 here for Soin. And the Blade Master is very close to level 4 though. So and if he gets a level 4 Blade Master, he will get level 2 critical strike. And that will make a difference. But not much of a difference because uh, he's only five supply ahead. So he is only five supply ahead over uh, Elegant. Doesn't have, oh, he has a Helix Roll, has an Info Potion. Uh, Sobe Mask doing a little bit of work here on the TC. Two of the Druids of Talon are going to die here, but after that, there's pretty good position here for Night Elf, I believe. Or well, the Blade Master going for the Naga again. Where's the Cyclone? Stops out the Naga. There's Cyclone and TP's out. Uh, okay, this wasn't too great here for Elegant. I mean, what did he really do here? Did he kill anything? He lost two Druids of the and lost his TP. Didn't kill a unit. Maybe he killed a Burrow. So we, yeah, so we need supply stuck. So he killed a Burrow. Of course, he rebuys the info potion on the Blade Master. That's so important. The scroll on the Blade Master as well. Just one. One heal scroll. Finds another Raider here. Or did he find it? I think he saw it. Other Raider. Fairy Dragon. 49 supply gets 54 again. Now Night Elf can uh, buy a healing scroll as well. Elegant. With the healing scroll. Blade Master is level 4 now. So now he has level 2 critical strike. Now we can win. Now we have a chance for Serene. And we, remember, there's no birdie. You cannot see the Blade Master. Blade Master can always just walk right to the Naga. Okay, there, there he goes with the info potion. There's the info potion. Naga in trouble. Uh, she has a healing potion. She uses the healing potion. Uh, she has a healing scroll. She uses the healing scroll. Okay, Blade Master is out of info. And now we have a Cyclone and Blade Master. There is this Berserker dying here. He's being micro beautifully. Nice. Oh, did you see the fourth lining? Killing two units and doing a lot of damage to another unit. And actually, Sawin doesn't stand a chance here. This time, the Naga didn't need to TP out. This time, the position was alright for Elegant. That's gonna be GG. Well, definitely looks like it. Uh, there's no, there's one healing scroll available over here. Has to buy it. He needs it, but he's gonna lose his shop. Another fight here. Demon Hunter is almost level four. I think he's level two. How much money do we have for Elegant? Five hundred gold. Of course, he doesn't want to go over 50 supply. Killing Burrows. But he's not in a good position. This uh, Forceful Berserker, very long hit points. The Cyclone on the Blade Master. 
Wonder if, uh, where's his next shop? Okay, he's rebuilding the shop over here. Of course, as an orc, you always need a shop. It's so important. Actually, pretty much every race. Every race needs a shop. The moment uh, your shop is killed, immediately rebuild it. Or maybe even before it's killed. Just, uh... No, it's gonna be killed. Okay, he gets a nice forest observer there with the shockwave. Whatever that means, he can build two more, uh... Two of the Talon. Elegant can. Uh, do we have a good position here for Orc? The Burrows are... Over here, so I think we do have a TP out here for Elegant, yeah. The Burrows just add too much DPS here to the army of Orc. Um, we see two... Three dead peons over here. And another one over here. Four dead peons. But no dead twist of the Talon. Well, actually, he did lose something. He's down to 44 supply. Why don't I see any of the dudes of the Talon bodies? I don't know. Or well, maybe he lost a fairy dragon. Because he lost a berserker and maybe the fairy dragon is what he lost. That's why we don't see a body. Dude of the Talon guarding the, the area over here. This duty. And Elegant going out again, so we want to creep a little bit more. Of course, a level 5 TC can always swing this game back in Serene's favor. Serene uh, is behind now. 47 supply against 47 supply. We're equal on gold. Level 4 TC, what a parry up. Not really the item he needed. Parry up. Yeah, it's a completely useless item in this matchup. Just gonna sell it. Maybe buy mana potion. Much better item. Blade Master buys some healing salves. Also has a healing scroll. What does the TC have? TC also has a healing scroll. So this time he does have two healing scrolls, but he doesn't have the invo potion, does he? No invo potion is means that the Naga is not going to die. Means uh, there's no chance there for in so in. So he's gonna buy one now. It is available. Lucky for him. I think it's bad by elegant. He should have bought the info potion. Uh, he does have an info potion on the Naga. I'm not sure if he um, did buy something, but it's been uh, just some time ago. Uh, kill some more burrows here. Th this burrow is still in race. Beautiful shockwave. Beautiful. Look at how low these units are now. Blade Master being cycled. The barracks, in fact, dying here. The shop, of course, died earlier. Uh, maybe he should use that healing scroll there before the next shockwave uh, hits his units. Before his dudes of the tent get take any more damage. DC is, uh, oh, there it is. Beautiful shockwave killing one dude of the Talon. This uh, burrow over here killing this dude of the Talon. Uh, there goes that burrow. And uh, Elegant is not really trying to fight. He's just, well, I'm sure if he gets a fight in a really good position, he will fight. But he's just trying to pick off the burrows while uh, delaying the fight against Orc. Loses another dude of the Talon. Elegant is 47 supply, 44 here for Serene. So is totally uh, supply block, kills one more raider, TP's out. Had to staff out the uh, Tinker. And the Berserker will survive. 45 supply here for Elegant, 41 for Serene. It's looking uh, pretty one-sided now, now that we have uh, plenty of moon wells, of course, for Elegant. But we only have one Bureau for Serene. No shop either. Uh, rebuilding the shop. Doesn't even have any production buildings anymore besides one bestiary. Not that he needs them because he's totally supply blocked. And Elegant is gonna creep over here. Elegant is probably, uh, yeah, he's gonna creep. He's the peon. Is he level up on any of the heroes pretty soon? Tinker is level two and a half. Lich is almost, uh, Naga is almost level four. Meanwhile, what is the TC doing? TC level four and a half. Blade Master level. 4.4 Kills a druid of the Talon and The Tree of Eternity might be picked off though We have 4 Spirit Walkers, we have a Berserker we see, Oh, the Raiders? Yeah, the Raiders? Okay, I don't know, there's a Demon Hunter here So I guess the Demon Hunter can defend uh, Staff on Tinker, not on the Demon Hunter Expansion Here for um, Elegant Elegant lost some units there. He's, he's down to 39 supply. 37 now. 
Where? What did he just lose? I mean, he lost an archer. He lost a dude of the Talon. He lost. Uh, Not sure if that's one of Elegant's units or what. I thought he was at 47 supply earlier. How did they just lose 8 supply of units? Well, this is 4, of course. Do some units over here. Maybe. Oh, this Talon, of course. It's another <laughs> supply that he forgot about a long time ago. Yeah, I feel like Elegant is just uh, losing some units here and there. Shouldn't be. Uh, he do even if he has a TP, he doesn't have a TP, but even if he has a TP, his tree is over here. We will get a free expansion here for Elf, and he's getting one over here as well. The Peons will scout that expansion though. And Blade Master scouting for the Elf returning home. But does he have pi uh, Pillage? Does he have Pillage? He does have Pillage. Demon Hunter defending by himself. Of course he has an Info Potion, so he can be pretty reckless. And uh, Moomals are there as well. This is... Uh, more Berserkers, more dudes, uh, Raiders just dying. This Berserker going down as well. Info Potion used there on the Blade Master and on the Demon Hunter. We have a TP on the TC. One more Raider dies there. 43 supply for Serene, 39 for Elegant. He does now find, find this uh, Entangled Gold Mine. Tinker is almost level 3, Naga is almost level 4, and if she gets level 4, level 2 Frost Arrows, much better than level 1 Frost Arrows. Uh, level 1 is only 30% reduction in attack speed and movement speed, level 2 is 50% reduction. So like a Demon Hunter for example, a uh, Blade, Blade Manager I mean for example, uh, is still working pretty fast with uh, level 1 Frost Arrows, but le with level 2 Frost Arrows, he cannot get away anymore from the Knight of Army. Here we have a fight. There's no info potion on the Demon Hunter. There is a healing potion though. There's no info potion on Blade Master either. There's Cyclone though. Uh, he does, does need... Oh, the Demon Hunter might fall. The Demon Hunter falls. But is that enough here for Serene? Because he lost... To kill the Demon Hunter, he lost three Raiders and a Spirit Walker. And uh, now we have these level 2 fossil arrows I was talking about. Look at the Blade Master. Look how slow he's attacking. Look how slow he's moving. He's just... Yeah, level 2 Frost Arrow, just kill the Blade Master there. If he still had only level 1 Frost Arrow, I'm pretty sure the Blade Master would have gone away there. But there it is, GG. Elegant beats Sylveen. 2-0. Expected from Elegant. And I have to teach Sylveen, man, to get level 2 Critical Strike.